I'll be starting in about a, you know, a minute. Hello, everybody. I'm back. Let's uh, hit some buttons. There we go. Um, yes, it's very, very important. The adamantium armor is the best armor. All right. Uh, hello, everybody. We're playing some Morrowind today with, with our the run we've been doing for a while now. I'm uh, super happy that we get to basically finish off this uh, chapter of the main quest. And uh, that's great. You said Hungry Hungry Tenry 2 is getting a trailer that's pretty fancy if true um looking forward to it i uh normally stay away from the hype cycles of games but they're a weird kind of uh third party you know indie studio so um i can usually trust their trailers and stuff more than um the average person's let's see what are your thoughts on the fallout tv series um, it's Bethesda Fallout, so if you're a fan of 1, 2, or New Vegas, yeah, your time is never coming again. However, um, strictly speaking, from the perspective of a, um, what do you call it, uh, a, a, like a video game adaptation movie, it is better than most, by a long shot. Like, it is one of the best video game adaptation series ever made. Um... That said, it's going to piss a lot of people off, and that's unavoidable. Um, is it good? Eh, it, it, it's okay. It, like, it, once you divorce any feelings from Fallout 1, 2, or New Vegas, it's, it's pretty decent. It's, it's okay. It, it, it shifts from good to goofy, back and forth. And if you're okay with that, you know, well, yeah, it, it works. It's not something to be taken seriously, though. And I think a lot of people want to take their Fallout seriously. And No, no. It's it, it's a funny little series, and um, it's got a little bit of uh, over-the-top violence and stuff. But uh, otherwise, you know, that's stupid people doing stupid stuff. And um, yeah, I, I actually liked it because of that. Because it, as you came in with no, low expectations, I came in with no expectations, right? So, yeah. Point is that um, the people who were, like, people who are unable to divorce their feelings from Fallout New Vegas, um, <laughs> uh, sad day for you. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, uh, put up a spoiler on the screen, so uh, look away if you don't want to see it. But uh, th th this is a funny meme that I found. Not not 100% accurate, but it's, it's, it's pretty funny. J just saying. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, and it's gone. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, uh, some people will know that. Some people won't. It's, it's not entirely accurate, but it's, it's funny. Hmm. Okay, let's get going. So, Morrowind. Yes. Uh, we are uh, hopping on in. This is A-OK. -okay. We're loading at Caius's house. Loading the saved game. There we go. Uh, anyway. 
Let me see here. I have knowledge to share with you. He has knowledge to share with me. Today is the day of the dead. In Dagger Falls, believe the dead rise up on this holiday. Oof. Oof. Uh, my goodness. Um, a as we know, um, the, uh, the mainland of Morrowind is 100% uh, vanilla because I'm lying to you right now and it is um, extremely modded. And not only is it extremely modded, but let's uh, let's have a look at our uh, time here. We've been playing for seven days, 19 hours. That, that's, uh, that's not uh, game days. Game days is 241, but uh, that, that, that's real lifetime. So uh, this has been going on for a while now. Yes. Mm. Anyway, what we're up to is we have um, cleared many of the requisites for the Navarine Prophecy. And uh, now we must uh, return to Caius and uh, deal with him. Are you here to discuss your orders or is there something else you want? Yes. <clears throat> You've spoken with Sulmatul and Nibani Misa and from what they say, it sounds like you could really be the Nereverine. That's just incredible. But I'll have to get used to the idea. Let me try to get word to Mera Milo. Maybe she can find out whether the dissident priests have any lost prophecies. But in the meantime, I have a very tough assignment for you. A tough assignment? You well, you're I'm, ready? I'm ready for anything because I want to know more about this. Yes. Hmm. Don't get overconfident. But it so happens that I agree. You're ready. But just in case, I'm going to give you 400 drakes. Before you head out, make sure you outfit yourself with healing potions, new gear, a little training, whatever you think you need most. And remember, if you get in trouble, back off, rest up, and go back fresh. Don't get cocky. I think this will be a tough one. There we go. <clears throat> Gonna be a tough one. All right, Caius, tell me more. Here's your mission. Fort Buckmoth sent a patrol to Gnar Mok, hunting smugglers with Sixth House connections. They found a Sixth House base, a Sixth House shrine, and a Sixth House priest named Dagoth Garrus. Speak to Champion Raisa Pulia at Fort Buckmoth. She'll tell you about the patrol and the Sixth House base. Your orders, find that Sixth House base, kill Dagoth Garrus, and bring me a full report on the Sixth House base. Got it. So what you want me to do is uh, go talk to the pool of rice in Fort Buckmoth. I can I can go do that. Where is uh, Fort Buckmoth exactly? Fort Buckmoth is the Imperial Legion's garrison for Redoran District. The fort lies south of Aldrun, a short walk from Aldrun's south gate. Oh, that's uh, pretty close. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Very good, very good. Is there anything else we need to know about the Sixth House base? Champion Rice Apulia at Fort Buckmoth says a patrol found a Sixth House base in a cave the locals call Ilunibi. However, the one trooper who escaped to report has died of corpus disease. Before he died, the trooper reported fighting with monsters and cultists, and something about a powerful Sixth House priest called Dagoth Garrus. But go talk to Rice Apulia at Fort Buckmoth. She'll have all the details. Right, pool of rice will tell us everything we need to know. Uh, let me uh, mess with a couple other things. Uh, okay, last thing I need to edit will be... Yeah, uh, my Twitch control panels have enough silly. Okay, should do it. Okay, I think I fixed everything in the background. We can go now. Yes, indeed. So, moving along, we are traveling. You shouldn't get excited about games? I mean, they've created one good game, and you are relatively sure they're going to create another good game. Like, uh, the, the the Kingdom Come Deliverance developers haven't give you any, uh, given you any reason to uh, doubt them uh, yet. Of course, CD Projekt Red didn't give people any reason to doubt, uh, you know, cyberpunk. So, uh, tis what it is, I suppose. Let me click on a thing. Um, I'm just closing a bunch of other windows that happen to be open. Okay, I think we're good. So, we gotta go up to Aldrune. 
and uh, go check out the fort there. Talk to Pull of Rice. And uh, I suppose we should pray to the tribunal before we go. That's pretty important. We are <clears throat> a disciple, which is a super high rank. And we are also um, a veteran's archmaster. So, again, we, we need to pray to the uh, living gods. Three gods, one true faith. Yes. <clears throat> We're going to zoom across here. And we are traveling north. We are going to be fighting a Dagoth Agaris today. Hunt him down, make him dead. This is all fine. Fargoth teleported in as he normally does. There is definitely nothing out of the ordinary here. <clears throat> okay. Let me see. Someone asked, can you fly around in power armor in Fallout 4? Yes. That, that, yeah, okay. There we go. Moving along, moving along. Ahem. <clears throat> right. Scrib defeated. Um, wait, hold on. There's something else. Yeah, we're set. Okay. Moving along. Who the hell are you? Your end is near. Is my is my end really near? Or are you just a terrible shot? This is going to be fun. No. He is uh, pretty dumb, isn't he? We got him. You finished Kotor 2 better than you expected? Yes. Kotor 2 is a uh It's a, it's a little unfinished, but uh it's absolutely worth playing. As uh, annoying as it is to hear this, it's a deconstruction of Star Wars. That is to say, it uh, it takes uh, the Star Wars setting and characters and runs them in a completely different direction. Um, anyway, let's get going. We are uh, heading on up. We're grabbing all that loot. Going to give it to Fargoth. It looks like my inventory is kind of foolish. What a shame. Uh, I'm not going to mine too much. I am going to sell some stuff in Caldera, though. I think that might be a good idea. Based on all of this, hmm, I'm contemplating just... Uh, you know what? I'm going to go back down to Balmora and sell some stuff. And th there's a reason for that. It's because Fargot's inventory is almost full as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do that. You had the cut content mod installed? Okay, well, that uh, helps out things there. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Ahem. <laughs> okay. Moving along here. Drink the water and we continue. Right, right. And if I'm gonna do the sixth house quest, yep, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go do that. Yes. Oh, oh. Okay. What do we do? Yeah, yeah. I've got to sell stuff first. I have no inventory space, and this is a problem. This is a very big problem. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Hold on. Uh, delete. There we go. Fixed. Okay. Sorry, got distracted. We're going this way. Hello, sir. I don't think so. You don't think so? This man... I should probably wash up before heading home. Yeah, this man doesn't think so. He, uh, he looked at me and said, I don't think so. What does that mean? Could it mean that he doesn't want to trade with me? Does he dislike me? Is he racist? Probably. 
But uh, we're just going to grab as many armor pieces as we can. And we're going to sell the low-grade armor. <clears throat> there we go. Hmm. That should do it. Yeah, we're going to cast It Just Works on him. And he will... Uh, he will buy into the hype, and then we can uh, sell him things for more than he'd usually pay. Basically defraud him. It's, it's great. Anyway, let's see here. It's a great spell. I think we've got enough stuff. Let's do it. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm not actually a fan of um, Fallout 4's introduction. Uh, at what point do your pockets collapse into singularities? That's a very good question. All right. We're, yeah, we've got... Uh, we have It Just Works, which convinces people to buy into the hype and we can sell things to them. We have 16 times the detail with Chameleon when we want to hide something sneaky we're doing. Um, you know, something uh, not so moral. And then we have Most Innovative when we need uh, to refresh ourselves and... You know, uh, be, uh, 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 what do you call it? Be restored. As, uh, <clears throat> for those people who don't know, um, yeah, here you go. Starfield bags the most innovative gameplay award in 2023 Steam Awards. Uh, that's, that's why we have the most innovative spell, yes. Anyway, we're gonna cast It Just Works. And, uh, whoops. I may have cast most innovative by accident. Oh, well. Uh-huh. Apparently I don't have enough magic to cast this, so I'm going to stare at him for an hour. Yes. <clears throat> you say they're meaningless, but uh, let, let me tell you, when, uh, when, when, you're, um, uh, when, when you're at your low point and you have all your community managers going out telling people that uh, uh, when, when, they, when real astronauts were on the moon, they, uh, <laughs> they uh, weren't bored, right? When, when, when all that's going on, you could definitely use a little bit of a refresh, you know, uh, get restore some of your fatigue, okay? So, uh, j just saying. <laughs> all right, now, now, now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wait for two hours here. Uh, <laughs> uh, very good, very good. Ahem. <clears throat> Perfect. Yes. No, it's usually a good idea to uh, reply to Steam reviews if you went, Oh, hey, I caught that bug, and um, and we'll have it fixed in the next uh, patch. Or, uh, hey, um, like, can you give me more information about that problem you had? Or, uh, uh, what, what do you... Like, I, I realize you say the game sucks... But, like, what part of it really, like, uh, got, you know, like, what what was the real, like, quit moment, in your opinion? You know? Like, engaging with the audience respectfully, or not audience, but uh, uh, the, 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 you know, the player base respectfully, you know, and trying to either get more information or provide, you know, accurate feedback and not just try to play PR game, right? Like, developers can use that as a tool. Um... To kind of go, hey, uh, I, I heard you, like, encountered a game-breaking bug that, you know, made you, like, downvote the game. Could you tell us more about that so we could, you know, get that fixed? You know, and if they say, it's not my responsibility to tell you about it, you think, okay, fa fair enough. Um, you know, uh, fine, whatever, you know. No, don't, don't, don't pursue it after that point. But, um, like... Replying to reviews is a valuable tool when put in the hands of a developer that cares. Anyway, <clears throat> let's uh, get going. You're keeping that Colovian fur helm. Most of this stuff needs to be sold. I believe. Hmm. Yeah, it's just got to be these low-grade weapons. Trying to sell all the uh, terrible stuff. 
We'll see. We'll see. Okay. That should just about do it. One more of these, and we should be able to get the full price from him. Very good. We can now go. Welcome to Balmora. We're a House Lalu town and loyal citizens of the Empire. What can I do for you? Uh, not much. I'm actually leaving. It's interesting how uh, Balmora is so centralized. I end up back here so often, despite really uh, my seat being in Aldrun or near Aldrun. Doesn't matter too much. We are now good to go. We've uh, sold a fair amount. So, yeah, we're almost over encumbered, but Fargoth isn't. Is there any clothing vendor up top? We're going to go trade to her. Yeah. What was that? What was that? The guy said. Makes sense to me. Okay. That is the clothing shop. This Tell her it just works. Good. Good. We're loyal citizens of the Empire and proud of it. I believe it. Most of us, anyway. You guys are proud of your uh, uh, being loyal to the Empire. Well, not not all of you, but uh, some of you. Expensive, we don't need. We need to keep the exquisite and extravagant. But uh, we can definitely sell that robe. What else? Um, I guess that's everything. So let's ask for 600 gold on the deal. Cool. Very good. Rock. You said Rockstar would um, never reply to the community. Well, that's um, that's because Take Two handles all that stuff. Rockstar has actually replied a couple times, going, uh, "Hey, hey, sorry about that. Um, that was our publisher, um, and they they kind of got slapped for it. They got told." Uh, you don't be doing that. That 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 be that be our domain, you little bitch. And so, um, Rockstar meekly um, didn't reply to this stuff anymore. Yeah. Great. Um. <clears throat> They got uh, good creators. They really do. But they also have, like, they are owned by one of the worst publishers. So it's uh, it's kind of a crapshoot. You know, will, will we get good games out of Rockstar in the future? Um, I hope so. But there's a good chance they'll just, like, tether it to some kind of online thing. Yep. Up, 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 up. Okay. We're moving along. Someone asked if uh, our armor flight in Fallout 4 was identical to Starfield. The answer is yes. Okay. They just took the jetpack from Fallout 4's power armor and stuck it on the character in Starfield. There are some minor differences, what with uh, the different boost pack types and an alternate key binding that sometimes works. But uh, that obviously wasn't intentional because it wasn't listed or anything as a feature. It was just kind Damn. of uh, a side effect. Double the shift, double the pay. Double the shift, double the pay. I want nothing to do with you, Dunmer. He wants nothing to do with me. What a shame. Oh, God. He really doesn't like me. There we go. We fixed it. A moon sugar, no. Uh, yeah, we're going back to uh, the uh, house we have here. Um, we own Darkstone Manor. You can see our guars here. No problem. We are going to drop all our alchemy ingredients and other things as soon as we get Fargoth to move. Now, Fargoth is stuck. That's funny. Hmm. <clears throat> wonder if we can put some booze away here. We should probably take this booze to our fortress. Come to think of it. I haven't done that yet. Mm hmm. Got it. 
Yeah. I'm just gonna drop everything here and we'll sort it later. I, I think that's just the reality of the situation is we'll be back. But uh, for now, we're gonna go deal with that whole six house base thing. So uh, in the meantime, we'll just drop everything in one spot. Kill Amalexia and enchant a pair of panties with uh, stamina regen uh, plus five. Like a true Nerevar should. Yeah, probably. We'll probably end up doing that. All right. Uh, we'll probably have to get an improved uh, uh, clothing mod for that. But, uh, you know, if we can do it, we'll do it. Okay. Let me see. I'm still just dropping all these extra items. These are all great items that I might consider using at a later point in time, but for now, they just need to be, uh, you know, uh, cleared out so we have room. I think we're good. I was thinking about dropping all those alchemy ingredients, but that's not actually necessary. The farthest goth is right here. I'm going to TCL through so that I can just kind of you know, get around the guar. I can probably move the guar somewhere outside. Probably a good idea. It's just been sitting in the house <laughs> for quite some time now. Alright, we're going to drop all our alchemy ingredients. And we'll deal with them in the fullness of time. Most alchemy ingredients don't have weight. Some of them do. Um, I'm just going to drop all of them except food. Like the uh, the mud crab is can be cooked. And that doesn't count as a, uh, a weighted item. So, uh, let me see. But yeah. All in all, been an interesting day. I've spent most of it uh, working on a project on the primary monitor and running Final Fantasy XIV on the secondary monitor. Um, got my legendary glowy fishing pole, and, um, what do you call it, um, I've been catching, uh, fish for Skybuilder's script, because, uh, <clears throat> what I want is to get a title in Final Fantasy XIV called Rod of the Firmament, and that's going to be on a cat boy that wears a dress. Anyway... We are going to uh, finish putting this stuff away. Then we're going to head off to the sixth house base. That should do it. Hmm. Ashlander tent. Uh, should take all my alchemy ingredients. Yeah, I... I have an Ashlander tent somewhere that kind of got lost. Um, unfortunate. But, uh, you know, the, the whole, the survival systems didn't really work out quite the way I wanted them to. Um, it's something we'll have to look at for our next Morrowind run. I'm not willing to mess with it at the moment. But, uh, yeah, we're in a pretty good situation. Let's drop some Dwemer coins on the table here. That's good. Uh, let me see here. In any case, we're traveling. So, we are... Hmm, I'm actually going to wait. I changed my mind. It's um, 7, 18 p.m. I'd like to get up north first, so we're going to use this as quite a, like a little uh, stopping place where we can rest for eight hours. Not nine hours, nine hours, yes. And then we'll uh, wake up in the morning and go go. We should be thirsty, hungry, whatever doesn't matter. We've got uh, we got water, and we got food. That's better. We are no longer hungry. We still got our infinite use fire shield. Good stuff. It is currently four a.m. The doors are shut. Uh, it doesn't matter, though, because I've got the power of, um, it just unlocks. Yes. Sedanine has it, uh, deployed, you said? Mm-hmm. 
Be glad you decided to do a light night stream. Yeah, I um, <clears throat> I managed to push my uh, sleeping pattern quite a bit, but I really need to actually stay awake all day. So um, the issue is that I um. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, by Sunday, I need to have a normal sleeping pattern again. So, uh, I'm gonna force myself to stay awake longer today. No one can. Oh, angry cat. Angry cat. Oh, good. <laughs> they said better at each other. Yep. Okay. Well, let's see. What did you say? Um, the URL you used is nope its. Nope dot is. Uh, interesting. Nope dot its. <sighs> I've never heard of that URL now before. Okay. Um, top of the trade house. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go look. Uh, I've got 96,000 gold. I'm sure we can handle that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, ahem. Right, what was I gonna do? I was gonna use a stamina potion. Uh, fatigue. Yes, we got we got some fatigues. We don't need to fortify them, we just need to restore. Flight the lair. And then, oh, uh, excuse me, what did you hit me with? I think you hit me with silence. Crazy. He was trying to heal himself. That was a crazy cat. Khajiit Sorcerer. He was uh, using a common shirt, but a Curus of Wisdom and a Magic Pearl. Some potions and an Iron Viper Blade. Crazy. All right. Now let's see here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Did you know that today on Discord, someone said I was in my... Uh, Early 30s. It's always nice uh, when when people call, call me much younger than I am. That's uh that's nice. Um. All right. It's always uh, lovely to get uh, compliments like that. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. We're following the road. Just gonna avoid fighting those implings. My goodness. Yes. My reply was that I have uh, good genes, except for the ones that give me disorders. You know. Uh, that, that was my uh, honest reply. All right. We're going to cast most innovative so my stamina regenerates while I'm running because it's not restoring fast enough. Very good. Um, <clears throat> this way. Onwards and sideways. Okay. Yeah, I was very young when I first played Daggerfall. Uh, when I first played Arena, I could only stand to play it for, like, shy of an hour. Seriously. You should run. Well. Okay. We're going this way. Man, uh, I love Saint Germain's character in uh, Curse of Darkness. Curse of Darkness is a game I always want to go back to. No matter what uh, time of the year. <clears throat> Dungeon crawling bugs. Yeah, the main issues with Daggerfall is that you couldn't jump or run when it came to a staircase. In the release version of Daggerfall, you had to stop and walk slowly up the staircases. 
Likewise, walk slowly down the staircases. Do not execute a jump. Do not duck. Do not perform any actions other than walk slowly. When it came to staircases in uh, in Daggerfall, yes. <clears throat> anyway, this... We should be... This is where the main quest wants us. I'm wondering if we should uh, hang out in Aldrun real quick. It's, uh, yeah, it's 6 a.m., so let's go open a shop at, like, 7 or 8, go do that, and then we'll go talk about the main quest with the, uh, with, with the, the pool of rice lady there. <clears throat> She's got, uh, stuff for us. It's very, oh, God! What just hit me? A bird. Does anyone remember those birds in, uh, Burning Crusade? When you went to farm the, um... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, when you went to f uh, farm Tarok or whatever his name was, that that little end game grind that they had, that that little island of grind in the middle of the mountains that you had to fly to, and there were these birds that uh, would knock you off your mount and kill you, to falling damage. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, let's be honest. Everyone wanted those Apexis shards with their uh, undilating vibrations. Ooh la la. Uh, but seriously, uh, I was there for the first time. I, I did not. Uh, I've not touched classic. I, I was. Uh, I went through the game. I went through the the series of expansions once, ending on uh, Burning Cru. Uh, not Burning Crusade. Uh, Battle for Azeroth. And now I'm done ultimately with it. So I think nostalgically back on uh, uh, parts of it and, and other people go, well, you're going to play the newest thing? No, I'm not install. I, at present, I'm not going to install Battle.net, their, their launcher. Not not touching it. No way. Uh-uh. Okay, there's a clothier here. Yeah, We've got some clothes we can sell. Um, <clears throat> I've got, um, I've got access to Diablo 1, 2, as well as, uh, Warcraft 1, 2, and 3, and I can run all of those off of Battle.net, uh, not, not, you know, sorry, with Battle.net, uh, not installed, so, um, therefore I have decided that, uh, Battle.net is gone. Yes. Mm-hmm. So what if someone asked you nicely? Um, depends on if they had an offer for me. Um, at present, I, um, I'm quite happy with Final Fantasy XIV as my Mamorkabaga, and occasionally I'm going back to Shadow of Serbius and, uh, Ashron's Call, who, which have private servers, but, uh, like, if someone had an idea where they wanted to, uh, actually, when I say an offer, I mean if they wanted to, um, uh, what do you call it, go uh, do some, um, uh, you know, I, I had a guild actually wanted to run certain things, I might uh, consider it at that point. But uh, playing solo or with, like, one other person, that's not that's not happening, no. Um, my wife much prefers Final Fantasy XIV to WoW, and uh, so do I. Uh, speaking of uh, weird shit that we've uh, gotten, you know, like, uh, what do you call it? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the actual, the way World of Warcraft is right now, the way, you know, the, the whole gearing treadmill and stuff like that, I just kind of prefer 14 for that kind of activity. And there's a bunch of old school MMOs that I uh, quite enjoy as well. Uh, you may want to steer clear of WoW. They become extremely greedy with their microtransactions. Yes, I've heard about that. Of course, 14 has a fair number of microtransactions as well. Like, it's um, it's funny. They actually released one recently where I uh, I commented on it. Um, because, like, you know, nobody is without sin. Let's, uh, let, me, let, me, let me make that very clear. All right. Ahem. <clears throat> Let me, let me pull up the actual post I made. Jeez, uh, I made a lot of posts. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, 
Uh, there is a brand new um, thingamabobber right here, right? This, this, this new outfit is a microtransaction, right? And the, the, this post is the don't fall for it, brother. And the, here's the in-game version that can be dyed, right? And here's where you can get it. You know, here's the in-game currency for it. It's, it's not expensive at all. So, um, my response to all that was, uh, <clears throat> I actually like the idea in Final Fantasy XIV of Universal, all classes, glamours. But the ones they are selling in the store can't even be dyed while the closest in-game, aka free, variants can be. What I'm seeing here is the famous, pay to lose. Pay to lose. So, literally... On uh, Final Fantasy XIV is advertising pay-to-lose microtransactions. Yeah. It's great. <clears throat> anyway. Um, they do have a whale. A flying whale that seats eight people. And it's $40. So if you want to be a whale. And uh, y you can buy the whale. True. True. Let me uh, see what else we got going on here. Uh, it doesn't look like... I'm pretty sure we'll be back to uh, the Morrowind shenanigans in just a moment. I'm just uh, seeing what else is uh, in this silly area here. Getting back, getting back. Okay. Oh, by the way. Uh, Trainwiz says, my game's out. It's out now. I, it, it, it came out on the 10th. Under space, it's freelancer, but with eldritch horrors in space, space dungeons, stuff like that. So it's like freelancer, but through the mind of a crazy person. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's got the it's got the factioning systems. It's got the like it's got a skill system that's like RPG like. It's got a main story. It's got a bunch of things. Uh, <clears throat> you just game the market and hoard money in fourteen. Let me ask you a question. Uh, why is the griffin seafood? Like, since you play 14, why is the griffin seafood? That, that's, that's my question to you. Okay. Uh, I, I've got my legendary glowing fishing pole, okay? Um, what old school I'm most do you play? Shadow of Serbius and Asheron's Call. Yes. <laughs> Pod whales, yes. They exist. Um, oh yeah, by the way, um, Nintendo shut down their their 3DS online functionality. Ahem, this is my advertisement. Hey, do you own a 3DS? It's a pretty good handheld. It would be a shame if something happened to its full functionality. Oh, Nintendo, thanks. Jailbreak it today. See follow up for details. And here is the hacking guide for your 3DS. I'm going to go ahead and uh, link that in chat if anyone wants to be so bold. Um, let me see here. I'm also linking the Pretendo Network, which is the online functionality for 3DS and Wii U servers. So... Uh, that is the Pretendo network. Yes. <clears throat> anyway, let's uh, get going. <laughs> Where are we traveling? Yes. Uh, b -b 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 Cloud fishing is a nonsensical thing in 14. Yes, yes it is. I actually like it very much. This this is the lady we need to talk to. I can spare a few moments if you care to talk. Would be better if you didn't have to buy the 3DS first, though. Well, I mean, this is for people who have a 3DS, and then Nintendo just said, "Screw you." Um, yeah. Um, you you can't use it online anymore. We're talking about people who actually have 3DSs, like actual hardware, and they're just told, "Nope." Uh, speaking of nope, hold on a second. I'm looking. Okay. So, ahem. Let me set this up. 
I need to go into studio mode and actually calibrate the other camera. Because the other camera is not ready. It's um, some kind of shade of purple right now. And I'm, uh, okay, calibrated. It's the right color, but it isn't the right uh, level. There we go. Okay, th this is... This is as lazy as I can get it done, yes. So, um, uh, he, here's, uh, here's the Game Boy, right? The, the, get the Game Boy. And so what we're going to do is it's a th the 3DS. And so I'll have this thing hacked within the month. Serious business. I just, I need a new power cable for it. That's, that's my problem. I'm going to get one on Amazon. Uh, but I got, I got a whole ton of games that I, uh, I delight in playing, and I would love to be able to get some Kid Icarus Uprising. Kid, Kid, Kid Icarus? Kid Icarus Uprising. Um, yeah. Yeah, de definitely looking forward to playing more of that. That's like one of the best games in the world. Um, oh, by the way, I got a uh, Creeper today. Right there. Yeah, got, I, got, I got a Creeper. See? Kid Icarus Uprising is one of my is I would I would argue it's my favorite Nintendo game. Period. Not just 3DS game. Nintendo game. Ahem. I got all these little Eevee evolutions down here as well. I don't know why the creeper came with a uh um call it uh flint and steel and uh, some gunpowder. I don't know why that happened, but uh yeah. Um, all right, let me see. I think I think we got everything else. This is good. This is good. Let me uh, see here. Boop. There we go. Cool. All right. Let me see what else we got here. <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, Kid Icarus Uprising is um, difficult in terms of like its control configuration, but I freaking love the difficulty system. Because you can go from difficulty 1 to 9, like in a scale. And it's not just the amount of damage. Um, but it, it's not just the amount of damage enemies do. Or the damage you do. It actually adds more enemies. Gives them different gimmicks. Like, uh, going up the difficulty curve will unlock gates that ac let you access, you know, harder, uh, like, kind of wings of, of levels. And it's really cool because, you know, my wife can play on difficulty two or three. And I'm playing on seven or eight comfortably. You know, occasionally dipping into nine for funsies. But uh, point is that, that Kid Icarus Uprising is a great game in that sense. Like, it's very flexible. It's also got a multiplayer deathmatch mode, which is glorious considering you're playing as, you know, little uh, <clears throat> little angel dude here, you know? But uh, you, you get a you get a bunch of uh, angelic soldiers and they uh, they they fight in deathmatch. It's great. Anyway, let me uh, see here. They yeah the they actually shut down Kid Icarus Uprising's multiplayer before they shut down the servers. But um, yeah, we're we're looking forward to Pretendo uh, giving us that back for a while, organizing some uh, some fun stuff. Let me uh, see here. <clears throat> oh no. Someone just linked um, in uh, shit posting general. Uh, heat metal plus cloud of dagger. <laughs> uh, sorry, cloud of daggers plus heat metal <laughs> as uh, D&D spells. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that. Like, holy crap. Okay. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, let me see here. Do you have a. Uh, call your hand, use a camera and a stylus. I don't know about a camera, but, uh, <clears throat> you broke your fist from, uh, fist from playing Mario Kart 7. I can actually play pretty well Kid Icarus Uprising on the stylus. It doesn't bother me as much. But yeah, I can see why, uh, people would have issues with it. <clears throat> you got tired of, uh, scalping the new NES that came out. <laughs> Ended up building a, re a Raspberry Pi retro station. That is a good idea. Absolutely. Honestly, as long as you... Like, I personally do not pirate games. People go and say, um, 
But wait, don't you say you use emulators all the time? Yes, but then I own every game that I emulate. Uh, at, with some exceptions. If they don't sell them anymore, and they're selling them for over $300, then yeah, I'm probably gonna, you know, I'm probably, probably gonna get it in a different way. Uh, uh, but, um, for 99% of the time, I'm probably just going to be, uh, playing games I already own. And, you know, occasionally, like, wait, did you say that you, uh, you like Hyrule Warriors? You're, you're streaming it on, on an emulator? Yeah, yes, I am. Here, here's my copy. That's Age of Calamity. Where's the other one? Um, I have it around here somewhere. Point is that I, I, when I'm ready to stream it, I could just hold it up and be like, yeah, I got the, the case right here, don't you know? But um, Breath of the Wild is one of those games where it's like, yeah, I've, um, what do you call it? I'm, I'm emulating the crap out of it <clears throat> because I want to play it modded. But yeah, yeah. So, uh, hello. Good to see you back, Sarah. You know my wares. Quality clothes for less. Stylish clothes for any pocketbook. Mm -hmm. Shall I tell you about my trade? Uh, or you would don't you need... be interested in a little work? No, no, I don't. I don't need any of that. I am actually just selling you a few items real quick. Yeah, I'm selling. Uh, not extravagant pants. I want. I want to keep the extravagant stuff. But like the common clothes, yeah, we sell those. And we ask for a few more septums on the deal. Good. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's go. But yeah, it, you'd be surprised. Uh, I've uh, picked up a couple reproduction carts of games that would normally be like, you know, three, four hundred dollars, and I was just like, it, it was kind of funny because the reproduction carts are great. Oh, nice. Uh, acrobatics increased. That's the six house bell hammer. I'm gonna see about dropping any other six house stuff here. Fargoth. Fargoth, go. Fargoth is stronger than me, I think. Yeah, Fargoth is beyond me. Uh, we're gonna drop the uh, Dagoth banner and uh, a few other things. A Daedric club. It's a shame it's not as good as it could be, but we're only dropping six house stuff here. Yeah. That's better. Okay, I think we're good to go. This is just all the ash statues and six house weaponry and banners and stuff we picked up. We're basically good to go, but before we talk to anyone else, we're gonna get blessings. I still remember my first pilgrimage to Margan. Anhedra threatened to tear out my entrails and play them like harp strings. <laughs> I was quite terrified. I have no more duties for you. Speak with Uvu Laren in Ghostgate or Endrin Lathan in Vive. Yes, yes. Thank you for all you have done. I'm getting blessings. Hold on. Rorus's Bloom. Uh huh. Here we go. Shrine of the Tribunal. Lady's Grace. Vivex Mystery. Very good. We will have to part with Fargoth soon. <clears throat> said uh, abandonware is allowed to be emulated without owning the game right actually um in the united states it's not um in canada i believe it's not but in chunks of europe it absolutely is and i believe it is in brazil but um i'd have to look at those laws again to be sure Hmm. Okay. It really depends on the country. I think that, um... <clears throat> yes, ha ha ha. It, it really comes down to uh, companies still caring or not. I know that the old Acclaim publisher, um, like the remains of Acclaim, still owned... Like, uh, like they sold off some of their intellectual properties and, like, the people who received those properties uh, were copyright trolling for some time. That is to say they were, um, um, they were suing people who, like, used their IPs, you know, uh, 
in any way like oh you made a youtube channel with uh um, you know, like, a, a particular game that we, uh, have the rights to. Uh, we're not going to send a copyright takedown strike. We're gonna actually send you a legal notice and threaten to sue you. You know, we're, we're gonna just straight up, uh, uh, we're gonna say that, um, if we could, um, you, you know, we'll, 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 we'll settle the case for, um, you, you know, say $9,000, right? And and you don't have to go to court, right? Just 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 pay us, uh, you know, six six thousand dollars, and you don't have to go to court. Shit like that, you know. Uh, it's not a claim. It's some people who inherited certain acclaim intellectual properties, who were co who were copyright trolling with their with the rights they had been they had purchased, basically. <clears throat> yes. Mm-hmm. You said extortion? I mean, it happens all the time. The only way to fight it is to, you know, have enough money to meet them in court and then beat them in court and watch as they drop the case. And the the judge just kind of shrugs and goes, okay, as you've spent X amount of money to, you know, engage them in court. Are people actually paying them? I've heard people have. I there's no there's no record of it though because anyone who paid them signed a non-disclosure agreement. They just will say uh, case is settled. Uh, we're, we dropped the case basically. That was it. You know, and, and sometimes they don't even engage with the case in the first place. They just um, they just kind of you know uh, tell people hey. Uh, if you don't pay us, we're going to sue you. Yep. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. No one would do copyright trolling if nobody paid. Correct. Absolutely correct. Copyright trolls, uh, a couple of them have been disbarred recently. Yes, it's usually lawyers who do this shit. All right. So Hello there. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. You've been attacked by assassins? From your description, it sounds like the work of the Dark Brosenhood. I'm not sure who you've angered, but uh, you should talk to Peleus about this. I'm not going to do that. Not right now. The Dark Brosenhood isn't a problem. I'm all yours, please. Go ahead. We have to find a pool of rice. She's around here somewhere. Caius Cosades sent you. Hello. Did you want to talk some more about the sixth house base in near? Oh God, I'm running away. Hold on, let me let me loop back around. I want to see if she said that again. Caius Cosades sent you, didn't he? He says you're the one to handle the sixth house base near Narmok. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello. Did you want to talk some more about the sixth house base in near Narmok? In near. In near. I see. Uh, Narmok? Narmok is an island fishing village on the Bitter Coast, roughly west of Caldera and Aldrun. Here, mm -hmm. let me mark it on your map. Thanks. There is no marked route to Narmok from Aldrun. It's no easy trip. Our patrols take the Balmora Road. At the Nisus Balmora Aldrun signpost, go south, then immediately west on a side road to Druline Fallen's cottage. Then head cross country west to the coast, with the old Dunmer stronghold at Andesreth as a landmark. When you hit the coast, turn south. Follow the coast, wading around headlands when necessary. Pass a shipwreck. When the coast levels out and turns from barren rock to green swamp, you're in the bitter coast region. Keep south with the water on your left until you see Narmok, an island just off the coast. Right. There's a crude plank bridge through some rocks to the island itself. It's a rough place, popular with adventurers, smugglers, and outlaws, but maybe someone in Narmok can tell you how to find the Alunabi Sea Caverns. The Alunabi Sea Caverns? That's what the dead trooper called the Sea Caverns where he found the Sixth House base. It's not on our maps, and no one here has heard of it. Maybe the locals in Narmok can tell you where to find it. Or you may have to search for it yourself. Imagine following a map marker. <clears throat> so, I know where Narmok is, thank you. Um, I was just asking. Only one trooper returned. He died soon after, horribly disfigured with corpus disease and out of his wits. 
In his ravings, he spoke of a cavern on the coast. He called it Ilunabi. It's not on our maps. Try asking locals in Narmok. They fought with cultists and disfigured man-beasts, corpus monsters, I think. They fled the attackers and got lost in the caves. Then they ran into a half-man creature named Dagoth Garrus. Dagoth Garrus. This Dagoth Garrus slew the rest of the patrol, but spared the one trooper. He told the trooper he was being spared, so he might tell others that the sleeper awakes and the sixth house has risen, and Dagoth Ur is lord, and I am his priest, and all will be one with him in the flesh. The trooper awakened outside the caves and returned here. We couldn't recognize him, and he didn't respond to questions. Just kept rambling on like a madman until he died. Oh, wow. The disease? I've heard of corpus disease before, but never seen it. The trooper's flesh was swollen and covered with growths. His bones twisted and lost their shape. He spoke to himself, as if in a dream. We didn't recognize him at first, except for his clothing and armor. The fort chaplain tried spells and potions, but couldn't cure the disease. He died soon after he reached the fort. Didn't realize how fast Corpus kills. It sure wasn't pretty. The troops seem shaken. I'm a little worried myself, to tell the truth. That's super Corpus, because regular Corpus, like, people can live in the Corpusarium for years. Right? I, I, that's normal. Uh, the Corpusarium is full of people who are essentially immortal because of Corpus. So, they, like, he got infected with super Corpus, which is uh, a bit different. Okay, so we learned more about Luna Bay. Let's go ahead and look over here. Do, 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 do. Could have sworn. Yeah, it wasn't Nisus. It was not Margan. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me uh, see here. Yes. Corpus kills the, uh, oh no, it raises them into Dagoth Ur's immortal soldieries. Should be, uh, like, is it the island over here? Mm, I was gonna say, that's, Sa yeah, the island over there is Sadrith Mora, so. Um, that, Sadanine's there, Hal Ald's there. Let me, uh, see here. Trying to remember, because it's like, it's like an island area. Uh, that's cool story, bro. Um, let me uh, see here. Hmm. I pretty sure. Oh, it was it was where like I was looking over here, not here. Fair enough. We just we're just gonna cut across the mountains then. We're going to Gnarmok. I'm in the towers. Did you know that in World of Warcraft, humans had a a, uh, a silly line that said, I have an idea for a great movie. It's about uh, two gnomes who uh, find a bracelet of power. I didn't realize how fast Corpus kills. It yes. sure wasn't pretty. And, and they talked about the Brotherhood of the Bracelet and how they had to cast into the cauldron. Yeah. <clears throat> I intentionally pronounce things wrong all the time to piss people off, so don't worry about it. Um, really. Okay. One of my favorites is calling, uh, Gorion from, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, Baldur's Gate. I call him Gorion. People get pissed at me. It's great. Betel must die. Yes. Okay. Let me see here. Damn. Now you're going to get it. Anyway. Yeah, we'll have to find, uh... Uh, some legendary underwear for uh, uh, to enchant Omalexia's soul into. It'll be great. Anyway. What's the problem? They're all made up names? No, it's great because people um, um, uh, 
people are um, absolutely um, how do I phrase this? Uh, people pronounce things differently, even in universe. There, there are like three or four different um, uh, interpretations of how certain pronunciations go. So it's, it's you know, it's trying to emulate the real world in that sense. Golden Saint, get out here. Okay. Do you see uh, f like 500 viewers in my stream sometimes for Daggerfall? Yes. Sometimes uh, people will advertise on Discord servers that I could advertise on, but I'm way too lazy to. Um, and then, uh, and then people come in and watch. But uh, that's a different matter altogether. I mean, think about it. I started streaming at 11. It's it's basically um, it's 11 p.m. Pacific time here. Like everyone's sleeping. Yes. Do, 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 do. All right. <clears throat> yes, yes. Um, you thought I had two thousand viewers? Never. I mean, I'm sure once or twice when I was talking about something, you know, like when when the paid mod system went live and and stuff like that. Occasionally, I'll get exponentially high view counts because some uh, other uh, streamer dumps a bunch on me. Whatever. Doesn't matter a whole lot. We got an Elder Rat. This is going to be fun. Rats. I got the most unsubscriptions for um, using a... Uh, uh, not... not Twitch subscriptions, like YouTube subscriptions, for uh, using a VTuber avatar and lying to people's faces and telling them I plan to only do VTubing from now on. Um, I, I, I will, in fact, lie to people again. It's fun. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's where I had the biggest drop in subscriber count. It was where I lied to people and told them I was a, just a VTuber from now on. <clears throat> Okay. You should Let's run. go. This way. Oh. Onwards and sideways. You can't escape me. Then, for some reason, a whole shit ton of people got in their head that I was uh, trans or something. I have n absolutely, absolutely no idea what could, uh, you know, convince them of that. But I'm not. Um, anyway, let's get going. God, my voice is breaking you today. You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We've got that taken care of. We're almost to Gnar Mok. We're getting there. I'll see you there. My goodness. You enjoy VTubers with male voices? There are some people who do. Um, definitely things to say about that in the fullness of time, but uh, <clears throat> doesn't bother me too much. Let me see here. I'm gonna drink. Hmm. This way. <clears throat> That's most inventive. And now we're going to check out this area. I'm going to clear this up. Mm -hmm. What's the deal with VTubing agencies? VTubing agencies are the, um, the Japanese idol industry kind of taken international. 
and um, there's a lot of culture clash that goes on. Um, that, um, you know, like someone in the West doesn't necessarily want to be treated the way uh, employees are, especially when it comes to, like, the, the Western uh, way talent is treated, which is uh, good or bad depending on how much leverage you have. And uh, unfortunately, while leverage pulls its weight in the, uh, in the West, in the East, it's uh, a lot about saving face for companies. So, um, yeah. Let me uh, see here. Said VTubing harkens back to the glory days of the internet and anonymity. Correct. Absolutely correct. Now, I, um, I just like having a mask on sometimes if I don't want to be on camera. There, there, you know, like sometimes maybe for a week at a time I won't be feeling too well for one reason or another and I don't want to be on camera. And, uh, the avatar is great for that. <clears throat> Drives people fucking nuts, though, and... That's, uh, amusing. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna dive in there. I'm diving that cave. I'm diving that cave. Cave, 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 cave. Abinet. Okay. Running! There's Dramora around here. Fargoth said I should run now. Okay. Damn, that's a lot of people. That's one that's dead. Careful with that, friend. Sorry, friend. Uh, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, let's uh, go ahead and pop these open there. People have an insatiable hunger for knowledge about the the people that they uh, consume content from, and as a result, they will uh, very much disregard the uh, privacy of the the VTubers, and uh, it, it's very interesting to watch as uh, certain people who were um, not let me uh, uh, yeah. Um, Certain people who were, you know, fairly secure in in their positions were suddenly uh, thrust into the public face. <clears throat> it's not just randomly calling a streamer by their real name. It's there. There's a lot of other issues there. But yeah. Okay. You will I don't mind telling people that I'm in, uh, I'm in Denver. Well, sorry, sorry, friend. One of us will die here, and it won't Yeah, he's paralyzed. Okay. We're good. We're gonna get a golden saint up here. Wait, I need to move this way. Hopefully he'll, uh, run backwards. But no, uh, what I'm talking about is, like, a VTuber wants to play a character. They don't want to be, uh... They, they want, a, a, like, a, a firm separation between their real-life self and, um... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, their, their streaming persona. And it's very unfortunate when people, uh, mess with that. Okay. What's this? Dreg! Oh, this is too easy. The dreg was easy compared to the man. The Dark F Archer had all the arrows, but he failed. You thought Colorado's mountain time? Yes. And I very often use Pacific when dealing with people. Because mountain time is uh you know thing there. You said uh, VTuber does out of character streams. It feels very disjointed. That that's funny. <clears throat> uh, 
I, uh, I was flashing back to a lady who was, um, uh, was being told, uh, she, she was wrong to tell people that she had a boyfriend because, uh, she was there to be a fantasy girlfriend for the, um, uh, for the, the male watchers. I, re I remember seeing that happen on, um, on, on social media. Uh, they, 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 they were saying, uh, honey, you were wrong to, uh, to, to yeah, it's like, wow. Um, that, that is, uh, that is very unfortunate. You know, he, he, hearing people, uh, proclaim that with absolute certainty. That that is what she's supposed to be doing. Okay. Let me see here. So doesn't that happen every night on Twitch? Yeah, well, it was, um... You in <laughs> She was trying to be one of those, uh, you know, Vita, VTubers. And, uh, it was kind of interesting because, you know, she, uh, she made it very clear from the get-go that, like, her boyfriend was acting as, like, moderator for the stream, or uh, one of the moderators, you know? And so, uh... It, it's, you know, just a case of, uh, excuse me, uh, let people, uh, live lives and not necessarily be, uh, fa fantasy girlfriend. Did you know that there is actually a tag in that shit? Um, let me, let me see here. It's called the, uh, uh, b -b 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 um, um, trying to find it right there. <laughs> yeah, it's the, uh, it's like a, uh, a virtual girlfriend experience thing, uh, that, that they call it. And, uh, there are people who think that those apply to everybody. Um, the one you were talking about is Schizo in, uh, in real life. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, in, uh, in character and normal out of character. Ah, uh, that kind of makes sense. Um, let me see here. I'm trying to find a meme. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking at this. Okay. The huge list. Should be under pictures. And I scroll up. Uh, slippery slope into Blade Runner stuff. Oh no. I, I actually like uh, Blade Runner quite a bit. Ah, here we go. You, you this, this is the only schizo person I know about. But all I'm saying is if the government one day comes to take your guns away, if you have a 3D printer, all right, I'm just saying, invest in a 3D printer maybe. That That's... Uh, that is uh, the person I've seen on the internet. Yes. Um. Yeah. Uh, she's um, all kinds of problems. Just one big bundle of problems. P people say you know someone is problematic, but I'm just uh, no 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 no. She she is a a physical. Bundle of problems. You don't deserve to live. Yes. Let's go. <clears throat> Where the hell are we going? Hello. Three blessings, friend. Three blessings. Where is the new Lebec? Uh, caverns. Uh, old sea cave up the north end of the island. At Carthrag Point. Got it, yeah. Yep, yep. <clears throat> very good, very good. We're 
We're going to the north end of the island. We got him. Cool. The drag is defeated. <clears throat> yeah. Well. It's just super interesting. Uh, what do Alucard say about this? I'm interested in this. Um, you said Pippa's the door to VTubing. The first VTuber I saw was a dragon girl who got uh, fired and or quit whatever and started uh, doing her own thing afterward. Uh, her trait that I saw was that she uh, would... Um, She'd pretend to be like a pure innocent uh, Japanese girl, and then she, if she ever talked in English, she'd be full of swearing. You know, what the fuck is this, so on and so forth. That was the uh, the first one I saw. <clears throat> Alright. What else we got? Oh, yeah. But, uh, no, I've, I, the only one you knew is Iron Mouse. I, I, I can't hear that name. That name is, uh, too much. Uh, what, what do you call it? They, what, it's, um, let, let me see here. It's called, um, the, uh, there it is. It's, uh, I guess this is a fandom wiki. Grumble, grumble. Oh, well. Uh, this, this is the one I remember. was a Sa Sailor Iron Mouse from the, the Japanese cartoons. The, 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 the 90s uh, Japanese cartoon of the Sailor Moon show. Yes. <clears throat> that's, uh, that's the name that... Uh, yeah. Sa Sailor Iron Mouse. Yep. You said not from the manga. The manga is much shorter. Much, much, much shorter than the TV series. Yep. Uh, what's this? Okay. Mm hmm. We must continue in this direction. said somewhere they ran out of planets they had a bunch of uh crazy sailor creatures in the the final season the stars instead of monsters they fought sailors because it was supposed to be like a sailor war but um it was very dumb and not actually canon to the source material it was its own thing yep now, uh, they had Sailor Galaxia. She was, like, the main villain. But, like, the lesser sailors that they just brought in as monsters of the day didn't show up that way. Uh, Sailor Iron Mouse was the one who, uh, at the beginning, generated those uh, monsters of the day. Yep. I have vague memories of this stuff. Okay. They were over for like a couple years by the time I saw it, but um, at least the 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 final season was. Oh, this is too easy. <laughs> the two Sailor Moon Crystal, uh, Crystal movies, you mean? Sailor Moon Eternal or whatever it was called. I I don't remember. Uh, there, there were two movies that were supposed to adapt the uh, Sailor Stars arc. Mm -hmm. uh, Endwalker animated video. Uh, please put that in my Discord server in the Final Fantasy XIV channel, and I'll go check it out another time uh, when I get off streaming. I'm kind of expecting to do a Final Fantasy XIV stream later today. Either that or Minecraft. I haven't decided yet. I did, uh, <clears throat> I, I got a, a brand new, what do you call it, a, a brand new creeper right here. You can see the, the, the creeper. 
Um, it's it's brand new. Yep. Yep. It uh, it came with a uh, um, a flint and steel and a uh, gunpowder. I don't know why, but it did. I uh, also have an EV Pez dispenser for the, um, what do you call it, um, uh, for the later Pokemon run we're going to do, the EV ones, yes. You think that's with the mob drops? Eh, it's about right. But yeah. I have a Hello Kitty Pez dispenser around here too, uh, but it is, alas, out of Pez, so... But yeah, the EV one, uh, we'll, we'll do the, the Pokemon shenanigans at some point. I may end up having to offload the Pokemon stuff onto another channel at some point because Nintendo, the, sorry, the Pokemon company is becoming um, more aggressive in their crusade against Pokemon stuff. So at some point, I may end up having to offload those streams onto a, like a secondary channel. And uh, I'll, I'll keep uh, I'll keep y'all apprised if that has to happen. Okay, this is it. This is the carcass of the saint. Crazy. Um. Uh, yeah, the Pokemon Company is owned by Nintendo and like two other companies. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, holding company that exists for the sake of Pokemon. They like to copyright claim, like, all the Pokemon trailers and stuff, too. Like, you, you can't give them free advertising in exchange for, you know, getting your own ad revenue. Like, they will... The Pokemon company will take your ad revenue for, like, uh, for, for like, promoting the newest Pokemon thing. Um, you said, what goes into the process of you selecting a Pokemon ROM hack to play? I'm gonna be honest with you. Um... Outside of my friends um, giving me suggestions, um, I um, I just kind of looked at Crystal Clear as, oh my god, this is open world Pokemon and I freaking love it. Um, and then I ended up getting into all like those different side features and grinding for um, you know perfect stat cre uh, creatures there. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> Let me see here. You uh, thought it was uh, dumb that you get the worst disease in Tamriel and dude just happens to give you a cure. Yeah, I thought, honestly, you should have stumbled upon something. Uh, no, the cure kills everyone else, by the way. I like that. They already explained that. The cure kills everybody else. Like they, He's like, <laughs> well, want to try my experimental potion? It killed like four other people. <laughs> you know. Um... <clears throat> But uh, it's this case of the cure doesn't kill you, the moon star ring doesn't kill you, so you're you're freaking Lord Nerevar. maybe, possibly. Let's go this way. Ah shit. Okay, Fargoth. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Fargoth a bunch of stuff and have him uh, sit this one out. Um. What else? Wondering if there's anything else. Yeah, you know what? Repair hammers. The heavy stuff. And like maybe half of these. More than half of these, to be honest. There we go. That's much better. Uh, anything else? Those soul gems can go. We're not going to be using those. Damn. I didn't realize all the soul gems had uh, the weight. The weight of the world. Bull net. Yep. I'm just kind of. Uh, Putting all of these away. What do you mean you got too much stuff? That should do it. Okay. And people will still argue that you're not the Navarine? Yeah, it's true. Okay, Fargoth, I need you to wait here. Adventuring. Stand guard at this position. Thanks again for returning my family ring. Right. We're heading on into this cave. Carcass of the Saint. Wait, yes. Hmm. 
Man, it would be cool if you could uh, go through the terrible transformation into a corpus monster and then cure yourself and you would still have those deformations. Okay. Magicka fortification potion. Cool. Oh no. This should be fine. I can see them down here. Yep. They're, they're going back and forth. I'm sneaking this way. We're done sneaking. We got past the middle, so whatever we fight, we fight. Maybe. I don't know for sure. Okay. There he is. Lord Dagoth. I plan to. I will serve him a uh, mighty uh, mace in into his mouth. It, uh, yeah, the tainted marrow is the next area. So serve uh, poultry. Yes. Okay, here we go. We're in the tainted marrow now. We are in the carcass of the saint. I'm gonna see if I can sneak by this guy. I probably can't. No. Excuse me. Okay, we got a golden saint up here. Golden Saint, destroy this. This guy isn't too strong. Ash Slave. Nice. We're getting there. We got uh, Scamp and a uh, Mega a enemy to kill. Oh, Scamp first. He dead. He's not disappearing, so he was a uh, contracted Daedra. Whoop. Trying not to... Not to hit the Golden Saint by accident. Scamp skin. We got it. Corpus Stalker ain't shutting up. I'm taking his weepings, though. Okay, we're gonna rest for an hour. It was refreshing, but you feel like you've been awake for four hours. How could they have known? Arcus of the Saint, too. There's nothing here, just a campfire I can't use to cook at. How depressing. Okay. The cat's up to no good. I'm gonna have to deal with him in a second. Mm hmm. Cool. Let me see here. That looks so strange. All right. Ba -ba -ba. Cool. What do we got here? Okay, I'm gonna try to pull this guy without pulling the rest of the room. Good old, uh, you know, I call it ancient game strats. Where uh, I think uh, all the old MMOs, EverQuest and whatnot. Uh, it's not spell drink. I need uh, tap energy weak. Yes, we're just gonna. Oh, he saw me. Cool. Well, if he saw me, I'm getting out of here. And by getting out of here, I mean I'm summoning a golden sun. And then I'm summoning a wing twilight. Wait, I can't swing. No wing twilight? Okay, fair enough. It's an ash vampire. He's casting all kinds of debuffs on me. It's great. Yeah, that hurt a lot. It's a uh, rogue ash ghoul. That ash ghoul has gone rogue. Mm -hmm. You're convinced that the ingredient sound was while cleaning a litter box? <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna help the cat out. He wants to leave. I'm going to encourage him to do so. Go.
Okay. Dutch Goda. Let's go. We rest for two hours. Now it gets to full. Okay. will suffer you no more. Dramora, kill him. <clears throat> Very good. The dreamer has been defeated. His corpus meat shall be mine. Yes. Mm-hmm. Someone told me that Swit posting was a uh, a channel. I don't know anything about it. I've just heard about it. Expensive pants. Took her pants off and then ran. All right, let's go. Swit. Marrowhawk's spine. Next area. Yes. It's the end of you. Sweet. Is this the carcass of the saint? Oh, it's the blackened heart. Mm hmm. Okay. This is the blackened heart in here. We're going deeper. I need to fix one more thing. I'm still in the room. I just have to pick up some and toss it over. You can't control the cat behavior is beyond reckoning. Okay. Let's see here. That should do it. All right. We're good. That is a baddie. We're going to tap energy to get this guy up here. He's casting. Little does he know that I'm going to summon a, a winged... T Actually, you know what? Flame Astronaut, get out here. Yes. Oh, jeez. Good, good. They are attacking each other. This guy's going to keep trying to attack me. I'm going to summon a Frost Astronaut now. That should do it. Gonna use a Dramora as soon as he's down. Yes. Ash He's in the blackened heart. The Ash Poet has been killed. We continue. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. Oh no. Mr. Doc Mackey is a URL. Who would have believed such a thing? Okay. Let's get going. I need to pull one of those guys, preferably only one. So we'll do uh, another tap energy and see if we can. Oh, never mind. We pulled. We just pulled one. Good. Let's get back over here. 
Golden Saint. I choose you. Damn, he did, uh, like, damage on punch. Never seen something like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. Good. The Rogash Ghoul has been dealt with. I will now repair my everything. Rest an hour. We're gonna eat, we're gonna drink. Drink first. Then eat. And now, we're gonna repair. Why we've got all these hammers. All the hammers exist to repair. I repaired some of the dropped loot as well. But that's neither here nor there. We're going to slowly work our way up. <clears throat> that should do it. Can only rest on solid ground. So this water, that's not considered solid ground. That is solid ground. Okay. We are good to go. Get a golden saint summoned. You will die. Uh, poor, oh, bone walker, crap. Yeah. That is something else. Uh, jeez. She's at half health right now. She is applying all kinds of poison. Crazy. She's also hiding in the corner. That was nuts. She's a prophet. She has a club and a shield. Crazy. These dungeon delves are quite in depth. Gonna be resting a little more in just a second. Maybe two hours of rest. Solid ground. Well, her corpse is a great place to rest. She didn't have any corpus on her though. Which is weird. She was just evil for the sake of being evil. We should have known. <clears throat> Let me see here. Oh, I have a disease that's affecting my intelligence that explains everything. I was trying to figure out why can I only cast one summon spell? I should be able to cast more than that. And the answer is your intelligence got damaged. Damn. I'm looking at the uh, uh, the loss and gain of uh, mana. Uh, okay, this should be fine. She really seems to want to kill my other minion, but uh, and she turns around because she's getting clunked by me. She's dead. Prophet is dead. I shall take my uh, items. This is fine. What else is next? Well, I don't know. <clears throat> what else we got? Mm -hmm. Nintendo, what? Oh no. No, definitely not. Okay. If we can rest in one of these spots, that would be best. Prophet is not nice, and their rube is not great, so. <clears throat> One hour rest. That should get our magic back. We need to figure out just how in... Oh, yeah. We, we need to do restore intelligence like two more times. There we go. Our intelligence is maxed now. That's fine. Let's go. Make a save. We're in the Blackened Heart right now. Which is supposed to be as deep as it goes. Serve Lord Dagoth. What? <clears throat> well, this is interesting. I think that's it. I think that's the Dagoth. 
hell? What, did that affect me? Uh, no, it didn't. Okay. Good, I resisted the spell's effects. Damn this. Yeah, Dagoth Ma- Oh no, it's Dagoth Malin. Malediction? Yeah, it was, that was Dagoth Malin. Crazy. How many Dagoths do I have to kill? Okay. Well, we got uh, an enemy down here. Cool. Whenever I think of uh, the uh, ki killing, uh, like, uh, how many people I gotta kill, uh, I always think of this image of uh, Hillary Clinton going, uh, uh, how, how many people I gotta kill to become president around here? And, uh, you know, it was a bunch of people who had dirt on the Clintons, you know, who happened to, uh, un you know, to, uh, they, uh, how do I put this, are no longer alive. It's just kind of funny. that the, There's some serious issues with the, grain, the grand dynasties of the United States on both sides of the political spectrum. They, they, they got some dirt, the, those uh, big families. Hmm. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> a little, little bit of a whoopsie. Yeah, exactly. It, it was a good meme. Okay, we're gonna go face to face with the, uh, the big one here. Mm, let's see, red, red ruby, rube, uh, ruined robe is good. The white one. Yeah, the, the white robe. Cool. We are going to face off. Very good, very good. Yes. You say you need a third dynasty. I'm talking, like, there are many. There's uh, several large families, not just two of them. You're, you're wrong on that point if you think it's just a, a binary problem. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Joe, no, she didn't. She has enough money to have other people do it on her behalf. Yes. Oh, boy. Yes, old money. That's what I'm saying. Yep, yep. Exactly. <laughs> Oh boy. Um I don't know. I'm just saying like it's not a it's not a Clinton problem. It's a uh United States problem. Run away. An old money problem, yes. Precisely. Okay. Let's go. We're sneaking. We're sneaking. This door, the soul's rattle. Ah. <clears throat> okay. The soul's rattle. This place is uh, getting a bit spooky. Hello. And can you not inf uh, inflict me with uh, negative speed? Thank you. I'm actually stuck here. I'm gonna get killed. Well, I mean, it's not a dick measuring contest when it comes to the um, when it comes to the dynasties. 
uh, once they reach a certain uh, power threshold, they just become a problem. And, uh, you know, uh, on top of a pile of other problems. All right, let's see here. Backing out. Cool. He's dead. This one has a hammer. These are... Uh, yeah, Ash... Uh, monstrosities. Okay. We need to rest. There are enemies nearby, it says. Oh. Okay, we can rest here. Onwards. Right. Nothing there. I think this is it. I think the soul's rattle is, uh... You will suffer no. No, 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 no. He's coming for me. I have to be careful and not, yep, lose my head. Okay. Yeah, if he wants to stop me personally, I will oblige. Good. He drained stamina. He didn't, uh, well, uh, sorry, strength. He, he drained strength. He didn't, uh, kill me, though. This is good. This area is getting a bit spooky. She's trying to recast her minions. Quite sad. The prophets speak. Good, good. <clears throat> Two hour rest. Restore everything. We're almost there. Good. I believe the soul's rattle is where our uh, big boss is. Don't know for sure though. Is it we we still on oh, no, our speed isn't damaged? Okay, good. Have to be careful. There are enemies that do want to just damage me until I'm very much incapable of uh, fighting back. I'm gonna try to. Oh shoot! That is a lot of enemies. That is a lot of enemies. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna hit these guys first. So that they, um, we're gonna empty out this room before we go for the big guys in the other room. So first things first, we're gonna use tap energy to pull them, and then we're gonna run back. As soon as some guy lines up. Good. All right, we're running. You can imagine more at. Good. Stupid. You are oh. stupid, yes. Oh. The dreamer is dead. Its corpus meat is mine. We are going to drop everything from the corpses. Because I don't expect these dreamers to... Oh, I expect them to respawn and their corpses to go away. Pretty soon. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, set this up under seven. I'm gonna get tap energy under seven. There we go. So I can press seven and just be ready. Yep. There is no escape. It's true. It's absolutely true. There is no escape for you. Uh, little angry man there. Great. The wounds. They are great. We got him. More dreamers. Take the corpus meat and the potions. And drop the other items. Yes. <clears throat> My goodness.
Try to pull that guy. I am the fetcher. And I will diet. Good. He tried to uh, hit me with his sword. Not very successful, I might add. They each have a corpus meat. Some of them have a house Dagoth banner, which is cool. But for the most part, we just kind of strip them and drop their items next to them. Okay, we're gonna try to carefully. There is no I said carefully. Fuck. I'm gonna have enemies after me. Like it's gonna be a big pack, probably. See, you heard there's no escape. So. Fortunately, I don't know how great the wounds actually are. I just know that this guy, we can kill him pretty easily. Yeah. Cool. So our trio of uh, minions managed to down them. Most excellent. Uh, that's fine. Like how we can just set stuff down in weird locations. I will take the corpus meat. But I will drop everything else. Should be one more guy here. How much corpus meat will you gather? Too much. Okay, we're gonna rest. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. The sixth house greets you, Lord Nerevar. Or Drekna, as you call yourself. I am Dagoth Agaris, priest of the shrine. Six house servants, my lord Dagoth Ur has informed me of your coming. Uh, I'd like to honor you with the Lord's friendship. So the sixth house? Uh, the sixth house was not dead, but only sleeping. It wakes from its long dream uh, with its lord, Dagoth Ur. Comes to free Morrowind of the foreign rulers and divine pretenders. When the land is swept clean of false friends and greedy thieves, the children of Veloth shall build a new garden of plenty in this blighted wasteland. Dagoth Ur. <clears throat> Dagoth Ur is awakened, lord of the sixth house. Come to cast down the false gods and drive the foreigners from the land. And shall restore the ancient glory of Morrowind. He bids you to come to Red Mountain for the friendship and the honor you once shared. Uh, he would grant you counsel and power. If only you would pledge your friendship anew. The path to Red Mountain is long, filled with danger, but... If you are worthy, you will there you will find wisdom, firm friend, uh, and all the power you need to set the world aright. I see. The shrine itself? The shrine is a small, quaint retreat for the six house servants, a place to contemplate, grow strong and wise in Dagoth ways. <clears throat> I see, I see. The greatest of the six house shrines lie beneath Red Mountain in the citadels. I know, I was there. I, uh, I hunted. But, uh, okay. Six house servants. <clears throat> right. Forgive the rude awakening. But until you have declared for us, we must treat you as our enemy. The uh, sleepers and dreamers are newly come to Dagoth and not yet blessed with his power. But the children of his flesh, they are deep in the heart of his mysteries. Their bodies swell to contain his glory and uh, to yield rich sacraments for our Lord's feasts. We are the least of his servants, for the Ash Poets, Ascended Sleepers, Ash Vampires are high above us in the Lord's bountiful grace. Our enemy, though? Lord Dagoth would uh, rather have you as a friend than an enemy. But until you submit to him, Six House Servants will treat you as an enemy and try to destroy you. If you wish to be our friend, you must go to Lord Dagoth, to Red Mountain, and make your submission. Lord's friendship? <clears throat> I, Dagoth, um, sorry, Lord Dagoth gives me these words to say to you. 
We were once friends and brothers, Lord Narivar, in peace and in war. Yet beneath Red Mountain, you struck me down as I guarded the treasure you bound me by oath to defend. But, remembering old friendship, I would forgive you and raise you high in my service. <clears throat> Lord Dagoth bids you to come to Red Mountain for the friendship you once shared. Got it. Do you come with weapons to strike me down? Would you put away your weapons and join me in friendship? Very good. Here he comes. That is Dagoth of Bulbous Head. I'd like to remind all of you that, um, uh, what do you call it? Hold on. I've, I've got, I'll just go down my list. Okay. Um, ahem. all right. Don't care how much religious trauma you got. Stop sexualizing Ash Ghouls. I am serious. There you go. Okay. Let's go. We're fighting the guy. He's treating me as an enemy, so I must kill him. With his dying breath, Dagoth Garris smiles at you and curses you. Ahem. <clears throat> Even as my master wills. You shall come to him in his flesh and of his flesh. A message from Dagother. Lord Naravar, we want to refer to the brothers. It's the same, same, same. Like it's the same thing. Six house plates. Amulet. Ash salts. Very good. Howdy, Dretch. Good to see you. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. We need to kill her. Still causes us the most problems if we don't kill her. She's easier to kill than he is. She's in full flight. Okay. Very good. The dreamer. I, I flash back to the sleeper has awakened. They use that in so many different uh, pieces of media. Even uh, someone mentioned this the other day. The Dragon Ball Z dub uh, uses that line as well. Because, of course, it does. Alright. We're just dropping everything on the ground. We need to take a nap. There are enemies nearby. No napping allowed. Doesn't matter how sweepy you are. You will, will I, though? Will I suffer? Yes. Ahem. Wow. Stop She's me. being a pain. That poison is definitely something. We did it. Victory is mine. I think. Yes. The sleeper has taken a dirt nap. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Hello, Golden Saint. Could you not hit me? Thank you. But I've replaced the Golden Saint with one that does not hit me. More importantly, let's continue dropping everything. Iron shield, some glass boots, those are nice. Six house amulet. Bunch of uh, bone mold stuff here. Common belt I don't care about. Is that the six house bell hammer? Got it. Big ol' ash statue there. No big deal, though. I think we've uh, cleared this whole area. These uh, triliths aren't doing anything. <clears throat> Serve Lord Dagoth. Hidden letter. You should have known better than to trust orcs. Really? Left fist of Randigulf. 
Um, interesting. You should have known better than to trust orcs. I still remember when, uh, uh, what is that, uh, one YouTube channel, Extra Credits, um, said don't do evil races. And I do think, uh, there's some merit in, uh, not doing evil races, but simultaneously there is also merit in, uh, um, not saying some of the things they did. <laughs> All right, let me see. This is Silver Staff. Don't need it. Journeyman Armor Hammer is good. Flame Burst. I believe they unlisted the video. They, they like they kept it up because um, <clears throat> I, I believe they were contractually obligated to. But uh, yeah. Do, do, do. I took one look at a panel and went, uh, oof, someone actually composited that image. Was, uh... Oh, yeah, someone, it's, it's still up. Someone, uh, yeah, yeah, they, they put it back up. Yeah, that's, uh, that was it. <laughs> Okay, let, let me check the Know Your Meme page to make sure there isn't anything uh, terrible there. Yeah, um... I'm going to show this, noting that I do not endorse it. Uh, but this was in their video. And I, um... I have to say, like, what the fuck were you thinking, Extra Credits? What, what, what was... What's wrong with you? <sighs> anyway... This way. We're heading out. Yeah. Like. Okay. I hear something around the corner. Fuck! Thing was trying to cast, uh, like silence on me. Okay, I think this is good. Should be able to get him. Good, good. Hmm. Yep. Oh, they also did a video where they said you shouldn't be able to play, um, um, as, whatchamacallits, um, uh, you, you shouldn't be, uh, playing as the, 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 the Nazis, because, you know, like, those are, uh, uh, th th those are the bad guys, and if, you know, you, we, you, we don't want the, the bad guys to be normalized. So, uh, no, no historical simulators for you. That's, uh, you should make a red team and a blue team. That, that's what they said. Yep. <clears throat> this... Uh, no, it's not this cave. I, I need to find the way out. Wasn't... Didn't this have a tie-in? Uh... <clears throat> didn't this, like, lead through to Red Mountain? I was pretty sure this is the dungeon that did. Like, it had an exit that you could get to Red Mountain from. I'm looking around right now going, okay, this is the way back to Merok's Spine. Let's, uh, let's go to Soul's Rattle again. Yes. The Goblin Bankers. Hmm. F fair enough. Um, yeah. 
Let me see here. Yep, yep. <clears throat> so many dead enemies here. The prophet is dead. His outfit immortalized. Uh, there is a. Pa it looks like this area is collapsed. Yep. Yeah, I don't think there's a way through here. What a shame. Was hoping for better. Ow. I touched the bad. But yes. One day, Timmy is dressing up as, uh, you know, the, the bad guys from World War II and uh, you know, in a video game, like di digitally, and then n before you know it, fl flick flick of the wrist, uh, now he's uh, actually dressing as one in real life. It's crazy, you know. Like it turns out that uh, those video games just corrupt the soul. I mean, l look at me. I got corpus, a uh, cor corpus. Oh boy, it's gonna gonna drain. Give, give me the big disease, yes. Drain attributes. I am infected with the divine disease. Mm hmm. It couldn't be Timmy's personal life, it uh, couldn't be the world they live in or the influence of media. It must be the video game. Well, the video game, it's easy to kind of point at it and say um, that, uh, like, we found the solution. Yes. Boss players are a blight on society. <laughs> hey, I'm looking forward to the next generation of Stella Blade cosplayers, okay? I, um, I, I will admit to not actually giving a fuck about, uh, uh, about uh, the, you know, what, what everyone else is screeching about. You know, like, oh no, my, 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 my characters aren't attractive um, in, in the video games. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about that. Um, yes. <clears throat> Let me uh, see here. What's this? Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Die. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of fan art. I mean, that's what happened with Nier Automata, although Nier Automata was unironically a good game. Despite having a bait character. Uh, what's her name? Uh, 2B was the bait character. 9S was the actual main character after you got past the first part of the game. 2B was just there to, uh... Alright, what was the meme? Push units? No, she, she had a purpose in the storyline. It just wasn't as significant as 9S or A2. And it's funny because A2 is in the game for like a third uh, of the runtime that anyone else is. Okay. Why are we dumping the, the, the gear? So what happens is after we loot an enemy, we uh, we drop the gear on the ground, like right at our feet. And then... Um, <clears throat> uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, yeah, we were talking about 9S and, uh, and A2 more. 2B is a bait character. But no, we're dropping items so that when the, the enemies despawn, their items will stay on the ground if we decide to loot them later. Yes. Said 9S was bait too. 
Uh, his shorts don't exact. His exploded mode uh, shorts don't exactly uh, go that far. I should know. I performed the action. You hold the the buttons on the the do you call it the shoulder buttons to to, to make the self destruct happen. And uh, yeah, unfortunate. He. Uh, he was not nearly as no um, uh, drawn as to uh, be. Oh, jeez. This is irritating. Okay. Good, I'm free. We must kill her. She summons another one that immediately goes for me. She's stronger than the main boss. That's crazy. E, yes. E is right. She's screaming E. Uh, let's go power. Um, not power. Hold on. <clears throat> right. I think it was... Uh, we need health. Magiku. Yes. Magiku. And fatigue. Uh, 25 fatigue restores, so... It's fine. Good. She must die. She is defeated. Hooray! <clears throat> You've seen mobile games that... Uh, Use characters as bait, and now it's suddenly an issue? It's not an issue. People just think it is. I just stated it as a fact. Other people take my statements and draw intention where there was none. Damn, I got blinded. I can barely see him. Damn it, he's gonna kill me with his lightning. We got him. We defeated him. Thank goodness. Uh, still. Yeah. My, my goodness. It's so, uh, me saying that to be is bait is like saying the ocean is moist. Heal self. These ash poets are something else. Why am I over encumbered? Oh no. Serious hunger and serious thirst. I unger and worst. Okay. That should do it. If only. Hmm. The drain attributes are kind of terrifying. We'll see, though. This should get us through to Red Mountain. This is where I want to go. These ladies who summon the, uh... Well, the bone walkers are irritating. To say the least. I am... Unfortunately, over encumbered, but as long as she doesn't try to run away, we should be able to crunch her. She tried to run away. What a shame. Yep. Uh, more fatigue. More fatigue! Oof. I am now par completely paralyzed. Yeah, that was that was something else. I don't think I I can't move. Wow. Uh, I need to restore fatigue, and we need to dispel. I try, I'm really paralyzed. I can't dispel anything. What do we do then? Let me see. Do I have a dispel ring by chance? No, I can't invoke it while I'm uh, paralyzed. Okay. 
Yep. Wow. There's a hunger that's killing me. That explains everything. We're basically done. Yep. I do four of those. Uh, we need some Sujama. You bet. And then we need some Fatigue as well. That should do it as well. Paralyzed again. At least those potions are in effect. Ha ha ha. Okay, my strength is so low, I can't do anything, right? Yeah, my strength is down to 20. I am basically dead. Whoops. Nope, not enough magicka. Magic. Okay, we got our wing twilight up. Same next. Good. We may actually be able to win this. I, I didn't think we'd be able to do it, but we got it. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> That's all awesome that you, you are enjoying the Marwind and Daggerfall. Okay. Yeah, we almost got annihilated by this group. That hunger was something else. We're gonna rest for two hours and hopefully be able to survive. Okay. Good. We need to be able to start curing our uh, our zero strength. Uh, how uh, uh, how bad is this? <laughs> okay. Well, we need to purge body. No, that's not it. We need to restore strength. There it is. Oh, we're in the negatives. Yep. We finally uh, managed to get uh, some strength. I like how strength governs your fatigue. My fatigue is going up slowly. We're going to need to recover all these stats. Dagothur's minions, I've got to say, like they are no joke uh, here in this uh, this version of the game. Okay, willpower. There it is. Cool, our stats are fully restored now. Let's uh, drop the poet's items in case we want to loot them later. Because she will be very dead forever. Alright, there's an ash slave there. We'll grab his weapon and we'll rest for another two hours. Alright. We should be fine now. We got the corpus disease, having killed the Dagoth. Serve Lord Dagoth. Oh, so this just looped back around? Let's double check. No, no it didn't. I was just dumb and didn't go in the correct direction. Got it. <clears throat> Onwards. We can do it. Um, by the way, um, Strat Edgy today said that, uh, according to, like, the Power Armor Flight, uh, and the, the ghoul, like, lassoing him, that, uh, the rocket jets are strong enough to propel a dude, uh, and fly around, but, uh, not pull the ghoul off his feet, right? Uh, where the ghoul's strong enough and heavy enough to change, you know, uh, change the armor's course. That's, uh, that, that's what he asked, you know, about the Fallout TV show, right? Uh, I explained that it's uh, your typical Bethesda physics engine jank, to be honest. Uh, you're just lucky the show didn't crash. That's, uh, you know, that, that's, that's my opinion anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. That all they had to do was copy New Vegas? No, no, no. That's not Bethesda. You're you're thinking of um, you're thinking of uh, uh, you know well-written studios. No, 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 no. Bethesda is going to uh, make more uh, Bethesda uh, Fallout. F Fallout three, four, and seventy-six are the only Fallouts that exist. Everything else is referential material. That's it. 
He said it's like they didn't want the show to be good. Well, the, the show is better than almost, almost any other, um, what do you call it, uh, video game adaptation, basically, in existence. It's it's uh, it's a far reach to find some uh, some better ones, unfortunately. <clears throat> it's uh, it's actually one of the best. Isn't that great? Um. All right. There, there's my link on that. But no. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Halo will beat it. I, I'm sure he will once he finishes taking off his helmet for the 50th time. You shall serve as flesh or dust. Flesh or dust. He said, don't even care. Um, I like Fallout 3, 4, and the sandbox of 76. Okay? Um... I, I don't like the live service bullshit of 76, but the sandbox is really fucking fun. Now that said, New Vegas is the best game in the franchise. The problem is it's also going to be ignored forever. So either you find stuff that you like or you do the smart thing and don't buy it. That's It's up to you. I, uh, I very much like Bethesda's dungeon crawling and open world exploration. Um... Everything else I tolerate or make fun of. Yes. But uh, I don't come to modern Bethesda games for the stories anymore. That's just a fact. Skyrim was dumb but fun. Yes. Absolutely. And with mods, I can turn it into a collectathon, and I fucking love that. Yes. Um, anyway. Uh, let's go. But yes, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not joking when I say that the Fallout TV show is one of the best video game to series adaptations ever made. You can take that as you will. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> you play Daggerfall for your story. Yes, that is correct. Daggerfall is a relaxing sandbox. I really enjoy it. Mm hmm. Now you die. Chase. Okay. You will die. Whoop. And you see that freaking Yeah. Bone walker there. You dead. Why? You see summons the bone walker and the bone walker damages strength. It's very irritating. Okay. Damn. Down to low health. We got her, though. She is defeat. Okay. So, two hour rest, and once our stamina's up, we need to repair our stuff again. It got damaged. My hammer isn't hitting as accurately as it should. So we can fix that right now. Damn right. Our, the hammer was at half condition. That's crazy. We're gonna heal ourselves, rest another hour, and then go knock out the other side. Restoration increased. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Um, you're waiting for the day the absolute uh, lunatic tweaks the dungeon so they look like they fit the biome they're in. I I don't care about that too much, but uh, I would like to see more diversity in Daggerfall dungeons because I've already memorized uh, almost all of the uh what do you call it the uh the the, the pieces the uh the, the tiles so uh i i uh 
would like some variety if possible there's already a good variety but uh you know you, you play too much and then you you beg for mods and or expansions okay where are we going modules this is the carcass that leads back to the carcass of the saint okay so this is going to be the new area flesh or dust tainted marrow so this leads over to tainted marrow let's go find it let's see what's in here yep we killed the corpus stalker i'll be taking his uh, nothing apparently serve lord dagoth S serve lord uh, Balegoth. you notice that dagoth sounds a lot like Fargoth. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. That should do it. Yeah, we've knocked this area out. Where is Fargoth? That's a very good question. Okay. We're going this way. We're back to the carcass of the saint. This is the beginning of the dungeon. Carcass of the saint. We'll lead us back. Back to wherever. Okay, we're going back, back up, drink of the water, we drank the water, we shall live no more. Hey, Fargoth. Oh, that's some infection you have there. Yeah, I know. Let's go, though. Let's, uh, let, let's head on out. Yeah, adventure with me. Okay. Um... That's some infection you got there. It's true. Mm hmm I I'm infected. You know, in Marvel vs. Capcom, when you picked a character, the guy would the announcer would go, Just as I expected. Um a friend of mine said, um, uh, th thought the guy was saying, you must be infected, and and told me about it once, and I, I've never forgotten that. I've forgotten many things. I've forgotten people's names and places and, and experiences, the whole, whole days missing, but I remember that line, specifically his interpretation of that line. Um... Anyway, let's go. A dream? Go away, deceased creature. Damn, you'd think he'd be embracing me for having, uh, having the disease. Yes. Very good, very good, very good. Now you're going to get it. I think it was Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Might have been one, I don't remember. Oh. I hear rats. Oh. That's a uh, impling. Kill the impling. Good work, Fargoth. You've done it. The impling is defeated. As it should be. Now and forever. Okay. Where are we going now? We must head back. Back to Caius. In Balmora. Whoop. Hold on. Yeah, Dagoth Garrus is dead. I've killed him. I am now diseased. 
Actually, let's go talk to Lady and Aldrun. And she can know that we are diseased as well. We're gonna swell up with corpus. Swell up with pride and corpus. Drag. Fight, coward! He is defeated. Victory is mine. Mm hmm. We saw everything. That's it. Just gotta head across the uh, overworld. Rats! Filthy rats! It's raining, it's dark, it's painful. That's it. I'm changing my plans. I'm gonna go down to Satanine. Uh, maybe I'll take the Silt Strider. But, uh, yeah. We gotta go. We're gonna be uh, losing stats pretty quickly. Giant rats. That rat is a coward. He's also big. The elder rat is defeated. His two rat meat belong to me. We will rest for an hour. The cor cape of cor case of corpus has worsened. Oh no. It, it said it's worsened. I don't don't really see that. I see a bit of unger. A uh, little, little bit of unger. But I don't know. I think the game is lying to me. Yes. Inventory is full. Warcraft 3's uh, inventory management doesn't really, um, I don't really like that too much. Let me uh, see here. <clears throat> okay. Did I play Hungry Hungry Henry? Uh, me medieval Nepotism Simulator. Yes. Yes, I did. I have not played any of the DLCs, though. So, it's going to be a while before I start thinking about the upcoming sequel, let alone uh, anything else there. Yep. Let's go. It has the best church scene in all of video games. I will say that right now. Hungry Hungry Henry, I sure could use a bite to eat, uh, has the, one of the best church scenes. Uh, no, not not one of, sorry, the best church scene in all of video games. Yes. Now, let me see here. You were annoyed when the guy at the start kicked your ass? Yes. That's uh, pretty normal for someone who's never held a sword before. It actually takes you several days of training to become good. Like, multiple days of training. Not just, uh... Oh, oh hey. I did the tutorial, now I'm good. Alright. I would like to see a mod that somewhat nerfs the Master Strike just a little bit. Not not a lot. Like, I, I don't want the Master Strike to be, you know, terrible or anything. Now you're going I just to like it to be slightly less useful than it is. <clears throat> okay. How you doing? Get out of here. I what are you trying you to do? Corpse. Make me sick? Get away from me without disease. But you like me. You're sickly. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He doesn't hate me. That's good. I remember seeing a clip from Josh Strife Hayes. Um, and I think that it, um, like, he, uh, someone said, uh, 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 like one of the guards said, 
Does your owner know you're, uh, uh, you're out or something like that? And I was just like, yeah, you're playing an Argonian, aren't you? And that was a human, like a, a human, uh, guard. Not, not like the racist dark elves. I hear you took care of that sixth house base in Narmok. That was quite courageous considering the risks. I'm sorry, I have no time to talk, but things are getting out of hand here with the rumors of corpus disease and the sleeper attacks. But any help you can give us in finding and cleaning out sixth house bases will be greatly appreciated. I see, I see. Uh, you're not broken, are you? Oh no. Some with the blades. Uh, she doesn't know anything about that. Your background? You're an Imperial Knight. Okay, so you never. Yeah, reincarnation. Got it. So basically, she has no new dialogue. You should go kill some six, six house bases. Go, go do that. I'm like, okay. No, wait, hold on. I should talk to her about a grayed out topic. I just want to double check it. I'm curious. Okay. If we go here. That's what the dead trooper called the sea caverns where mm -hmm. he found the sixth house base. It's not on our maps, and no one here has heard of it. Maybe the locals in Narmok can tell you where to find it. Right, or I you may have to search for it yourself. I've heard of corpus disease before, but never seen it. The trooper's flesh was swollen and covered with growths. His bones twisted and lost their shape. Mm -hmm. He spoke to himself, as if in a dream. We didn't recognize him at first, except for his clothing and armor. The fort chaplain tried spells and potions, but couldn't cure the disease. He died soon after. Only one trooper returned. He died soon after. Horribly. This Dagoth Gares slew the rest of the patrol, but spared the one trooper. He yeah, I've already heard that. I'm leaving. I just wanted to make... I, I was going through the dialogue, making sure I didn't uh, miss anything. And the answer was, I, I, I can read faster than uh, they can talk. So, you know, I was just double checking. Onwards and sideways. We have the disease, the divine disease. It's great. Wait. You should run. Cliffy Racer! Kill it. We did it. The Cliffy Racer is defeated. Victory is mine. But, uh. Wait, what? What'd you say? Go away, diseased creature. Damn. Serve Lord Dagoth. Sorry, what? Uh, we need to head on over to Balmora, I think. Fool? Oh? Oh, this is too easy. She shouted, uh, fool, and started coughing. Die here, and it won't Wow. He's howling like an animal. I will leave it to Fargoth. See, the Fargothic short sword is a powerful weapon. If we go over here to companion share, you can see it in action. It's called, yeah, it's called the Fargothic short sword. Let me, uh... Take a screenshot of it really quick so we can blow it up. Uh, yeah, there we go. Done. So we go up here and you can see, yeah, there it is. Ahem. Oh, yeah, it's a fiction. Oh, yeah, what's it like to have uh, wacky leprosy as a fictional character? It's like, uh, don't you know? Video games are real. Um, you, you see a sec uh, sexy woman in a game, you become a deviant. If you um, if you you commit violence in a video game, you um, you will commit violence in real life. Uh, you, you'll turn to Satan and uh, and reject our Lord and Savior uh, Jesus Christ. So uh, you, you know, like video games are bad, obviously. So if you, you get you get the corpus corpus disease, it's, it's gonna it's gonna affect your real life health, obviously. Yep, Sky, Skyrim turned you gay. Oh no. Oh no. What a shame. Ahem. They call it, uh. 
it's funny because uh, people um, see my Final Fantasy XIV pictures and make assumptions about Final Fantasy XIV when it, they, they completely disregard the mods I've been using in Skyrim for years. Where I went, uh, you know, like uh, a couple years ago, I was like, the time has come. I now have, um, you know, like we now have access to skimpy male armor mods. And I was, I was very happy about that. And people were like, why are you skimpy? Why, why are you skimpy? It was pretty funny. <clears throat> anyway, let me, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, what's your opinion on the Harry Potter books? Um, like, really, really shitty D&D. &D. Um, how do I better phrase this? Hold on. Um, they are uh, projection fantasies for children. You know, you know when a um, when a kid on the playground says, "My dad's, my real dad is actually an astronaut." Um, you know, c kids have this fantasy of um, uh, where they're going to get whisked away from their life, um, like uh, their mundane life, and they're going to be able to enter what is referred to as the secret world, where they will be recognized as the special one, right? Uh, Japanese have overwhelmingly, like, done this in the form of isekai, whereas Western audiences use the, the special world, uh, or sorry, the secret world. And so, um, that, that's kind of how it works. Um, like, basically, it's the Western interpretation of the projection fantasy, which is the, uh, which is the secret world. Uh, Twilight is another example of the secret world where it's like, oh, look at all these, uh, vampires and werewolves and stuff, right? Um, and now, now she gets to be the special person in the middle of all of that. What I'm saying is Twilight and Harry Potter are essentially the same thing. Yeah. Anyway. Let me see here. Ba -ba -ba -bum. <laughs> and hey, at least it's not uh, the uh, Twilight fan fiction called Master of the Universe, which was... Uh, uh, retooled and commercialized into Fifty Shades. Okay. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Isekai life after death? Um, not all Isekai is life after death. Like, very often Isekai will be, uh, tran like, teleportation or some other thing. Uh, one of the first isekai was, um, well, not one of the first, but one of the first good ones was, like, Vision of Escaflone, and that, uh, that didn't, uh, do any, uh, what do you call it, uh, like, she, she, uh, Hitomi didn't die. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The oldest one I've read is Through the Looking Glass, which is Alice in Wonderland. At least that I remember. Okay. We're dropping these things on the ground. That way her items don't despawn. I'm gonna take the troll strength item because we can sell that decently. There we go. Yes, yeah, the truck that ultimately kills people. <clears throat> Narnia, nice. Okay. Is the Wizard of Oz Isekai? Of course it is. Yes. I haven't... I don't remember the sequel books too well. Hmm. It's gonna drive me crazy. Anyway. Let me see here. The new Konosuba is starting to air, and it's not that great. Uh, let me see. 
I'm, I'm going to my meme folder. Here, here's my uh, Final Fantasy XIV character. For anyone who, uh, uh, who, who didn't know, uh, that, that's my tank healer DPS shenanigans. Yep. Not nothing, nothing out of the ordinary there. Not even a bit. So, uh, <clears throat> let me see. What Power Rangers? Uh, Power Rangers is actually, um, what do you call it? Uh, it's called Super Sentai, which is a, um, like, Go... W when did Go Ranger start? Hold on. Let me, let me find out when Go Ranger... Uh, Go Ranger was... Let me find it there. Um... 1975. Yes. Go Ranger. So, uh... Let me see here. I'm gonna go to Google and throw that in. Okay. This might be it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um. Let me see. Okay. Yes. Yeah, but uh, Go Ranger is um, yeah, from the 1970s. So uh, it's uh, very old. The quote-unquote Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that people um, uh, what do you call it? Um, that people watched on t American TV or European TV was, um, what do you call it? It was actually called uh, a Zoo Ranger. It was one of the later Ranger series that they just kind of took the fight scenes from and then paired it up with, uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Western-made scenes. So, uh, yeah. Let me see. It was... Uh, Let me see. Um, I think that if we go to Google again. Yes, a a Angry Video Game Nerd. You got it. You got it. He, uh, uh, I think it was here, yeah. Okay. And listen here, it has the Zoo Ranger theme song. Zoo Ranger, Zoo Ranger, dance it so no sin, she taught she oh, Zoo Ranger. This game. Okay. Uh, 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 yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I was angry, video game nerd. Hmm. I think it was, uh, yeah, yeah, we found it. Uh, here we go. Uh, you, you'll recognize this one right here. Whoops. Looked into the game by accident. Yeah, yeah. Um, Uh, they were ancient warriors who were woken up, not uh, s like high school students. But yeah, it's uh, uh it's, yeah. That th there we go. That was I was trying to find the actual shot there. There you go. Th those those are the the ancient warriors who were re reawakened, and so um. What do you call it? The the villain, like uh, one of the sorry, one of the minor villains was uh, the the Yamato Prince Bry, and he uh, he was the the Green Ranger, and he uh, uh, he and uh, the main like the red guy Geki had to fight to the death, it was uh, very sad. Anyway, let me uh, see here. This way. Hmm. 
Yep, yep. Why the main guy always red? In the beginning, he was. Like, for the first, like, 10, 15 years of the genre, they like to have either red or black as the, uh, the main guy, and then they ended up doing other colors. And then mixtures. And, of course, you, you also had, like, the, the single hero, like, the, the lone uh, rider-type character, like, common rider or whatever, um, who, who didn't usually work in a group. So, yeah, always different uh, shenanigans there. All right, well, we are infected by the great grand disease here. So I'm thinking uh, we're going to go have a chat with the temple and see what they have to say about it. <clears throat> Little kids always like the uh, color red. Oh, boy. Red is the color of blood. Oh. Go away, diseased creature. Yes, you're sickly. You aren't broken, are you? Compassion. You have already proven your compassion. Have I now? Buoyant armatures? I see. False incarnate. You put an end to the heresies of the false incarnate. Margan. You already made the pilgrimage to Margan. Thanks. Right. <clears throat> We're heading to Balmore to go talk to uh, Caius. I just wanted to double check this area here and see if there was anything else we wanted to drop. I guess there are a couple spots we could uh, sell a few things. We're getting massively over-encumbered, and it's a good thing for the most part. I just need to kind of go into the house rendering compound and sell a few things for high prices. Mm-hmm. I remember Disgaea had some great Power Rangers. It was... Uh, Let me see here. Uh, uh, that should do it. Okay. We've been waiting for you, demons! When the darkness of evil draws near, we appear out of nowhere! The three lights of justice save the world with courage and hope. Together, we are the Prism Rangers! Come on. Uh, um. Jim, go ahead, shoot! You call yourselves Prism Rangers, but you only have three colors. That's not even enough for a rainbow. Isn't it obvious? We don't have any friends. There you go. <clears throat> that 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 sums it up right there. Yep. Mm. Okay. Yep, yep. Being a hero is a lonely existence. You got it? Are you sure there's not another reason why you don't have any friends? <laughs> yep. You guys are heroes, aren't you? Why would you want to be overlords? We want friends, of course. If we become the overlords, then we'll have tons of friends. And the Prism Rangers will have all the colors of the rainbow. Here we go. Blue, yellow, transform! can't be happening. Blue and yellow have been shot. I can't transform on my own. Curse you! Shooting before we even have a chance to transform? How inconsiderate! Are you demons? Uh-huh. Yeah, she she's the succubus, so, you know. Anyway, uh, gonna go ahead and uh, move along here. Yes. So, uh, heading back tomorrow. We're gonna go sell some stuff real quick. Ahem, <clears throat> no problem. How you doing? Get out of here. What are you trying to do? Make me sick? There you go. I'm not being recognized as the Archmaster right now because I'm diseased. 
A foul, diseased creature. How you doing? Go away, diseased creature. Hey, that's what I just said. Good of you to pay attention for once. Okay. Ahem. Yes, the disposition system is fun. We're gonna explain to her that uh, I might be diseased, but I'm still selling you junk. <clears throat> no problem. These withered clubs. Too much. Too much junk is here. Too old to begin the training. What? Um, banner there. Cool, we're getting there, yes. The mark for sale mod? Probably, but there's also other things you can do. Uh, what we do, what we're gonna do is we're going to barter with her to ask for more money, specifically all her money. And we did it. That's why I came in here. Yes. Onwards and sideways. Is there an armor cap? Uh, I mean, it is the amount, like the maximum amount of armor that you can get, which uh, would be the strongest heavy armor in the game. Um. <clears throat> right. Mm-hmm. Let's go. We're heading to Balmora by way of Caldera. I have, at present, how much money? 99,000 gold. That's barely any. We are poor. Uh, wh wh what is his name who wants a million gold? Uh, Glarthir or something like that? He's the final boss of Morrowind. No one is as strong as he is. He's like a puny little uh, uh, wood elf who becomes a god. He gets like uh, 600 luck. This is going. To be Therefore, the combat system just says, uh, yeah, gain or okay, something like that. Yeah. Good, good, good. He's in tribunal. He's just a wood elf in the city. And he asks you for ridiculous things, and if you... Uh, oh, I contracted the droops. Corpus is supposed to make me immune to all diseases. It's a freaking lie. It's a freaking lie. I got the droops. That's awful. Um, hmm, purge the body. Took some damage. Got rid of my droops. Yes. No idea. We're traveling. Who suffer? Oh no. Let me see what else is going on here. Mm -hmm. Almost done. Yeah, we're good. Like you're watching at two times speed because of how fast I'm running? Yes. Our speed stat is uh, currently uh, 125. Eventually, uh, Corpus is going to damage it, but uh, no big deal. <clears throat> Are companions immortal in Morrowind? No. Everyone is killable in Morrowind. I think the only person you can't kill is Azura at the end. You will suffer in vain. What? Die, Fetcher. This guy just keeps casting. And he pissed off Fargoth. You should run now. Okay, good enough. <laughs> nope, goodbye. 
Very good. We'll take the glass, you bet. In fact, we'll take the everything. And not be over encumbered. This is perfect. Yeah. You should run now. Mm -hmm. Are you going for Daedric quests? I was thinking about grabbing Azura's star so that I could capture Amalexia and uh, stuff her soul into a pair of panties or something. But other than that, you know, Vivek will probably uh, uh, go as well. I'm trying to think about who else. I mean, Sotha still can't be done. Yes. Like so, we can't we can't deal with uh, with Sotha Sil. Like that that's not gonna work. <clears throat> Don't know. Naravar reborn. Truly incredible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nerevarine kills Azura, takes her job. Doesn't work that way. If you were to, like, according to the lore, if you were to kill a Daedric Prince, no one can they would uh, just reform in their realm. You'd have to, you'd have to kind of, uh, in theory, have uh, some kind of soul gem the size of a planet, and, you know, be able to uh, have their protonemic and neonemic and a weapon made of their own power and shit like that. Like, Actually destroying a Daedric Prince is like a monumental effort that may not even be possible for every prince, depending on whether or not those Daedra have uh, met the requirements to be destroyed. <clears throat> anyway, let me say here. I mean, you can bonk their avatar so hard that they go back to oblivion. That's easy. Yeah, the butterfly cannot be killed. It is too strong. Please, I don't wish to catch whatever you have. Yes, I have a lot. Let's get out of here. What was that? Mm-hmm. If you beat her realm of oblivion to death, I don't know. Like, remember that her realm isn't made up of like stones or trees or whatever you you, you know or dirt. It's made up of this like substance called chaotic creatia, which the Daedric princes will into different forms. So, eh, I don't know. Let's go. <clears throat> Someday. Let me see. No, nope, we just keep going. That'll do it. We're going to drink the water. Gotta love, uh, I have no idea where this is coming from, by the way. Some kind of underground canal. Maybe attached to Balmora, maybe attached to, like, somewhere else. Don't know. Mm -hmm. You've heard it's possible to capture her singing a regular soul gym? That's funny. One of his lesser aspects. Okay, then. I think we're done here. Um, yeah, we just gotta go see Caius. We have been afflicted, and Caius must help us. Onwards and sideways. I mean, you never really get to fight her thing. You get to fight one of his aspects. I want a mod to fight all three of his aspects simultaneously. Keep your distance, all right? Yeah, about that. Uh, orders. With Dagoth Garas dead, the sixth house shrine is no longer a threat. 
You've more than earned a promotion to the rank of traveler. I'm very worried that you have corpus disease, but I have some good news in that department. I canvassed my informants for possible treatments just in case you contracted the disease during your mission. I learned from Fast Eddie that your best chance of getting cured is Devaith Fear, an ancient Telvanni wizard who runs a corpusarium for victims mm -hmm. of the disease. Okay. Here, take this Dwemer artifact and 1,000 drakes and go to Tel Fear. Devaith Fear will like the Dwemer artifact. A gift may sweeten his disposition. The gold is for expenses. And here are a couple of levitation potions. I hear you'll need them in Telvani Towers because wizards don't use stairs. So get moving and get that corpus disease cured. Then hurry back. I think I know how to get the lost prophecies Nibani Misa asked for. <clears throat> Fair enough. Uh, you, okay, someone's asking Elder Scrolls TV show when. Actually, there's news in that department. Okay, are you, are you ready? Uh, are you ready? So... Todd Howard was asked if there was going to be an Elder Scrolls TV show. His response was no. That's it. Yeah. It doesn't matter, like... It really doesn't matter whether or not they make TV shows of these intellectual properties. Halo was already ruined before uh, before Master Chief took off his helmet and pranced around like a little uh, kid. Um, Fallout was already 76th. So, who cares whether or not these get TV shows? They they've already hit the mainstream. That's that's the greatest curse you can uh, put on a hobby is go. Uh, I wish that your hobby goes mainstream. Ugh. I actually like Fallout 76's uh, landscape and like dungeons and stuff. I just don't like the live service element. You know, like the where they keep trying to push. Um, uh, their their little um, what do you call it? Uh, their battle pass and stuff, uh, you know, and their their um, their subscription and all that. You can't remember the last good show. I mean, the Fallout TV show is pretty decent for a uh, Fallout, you know, uh, what do you call it? Three, four, and seventy six show. Like, I think that's one of the best. Um, uh, one of the best video game to television adaptations ever made, to be honest. The, um, I'm gonna say there there aren't too many that you can say are better. Now then, let's see. What was it? What was that meme? Ah uh, yes. Um. <clears throat> uh, what were we saying? Oh yeah. So, clicking a couple more things over here. Shenanigans, yes. Lots and lots of shenanigans. Okay. <clears throat> you like the Silent Hill movie? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now then, um... I kind of liked the Prince of Persia movie. It was a bad adaptation, but what isn't? Um, I can't think of any other movies I actually like <laughs> as far as uh, video game adaptations. I mean... Okay. So I did enjoy um, the Resident Evil movies, but that was knowing they were bad, right? Like... That that was that was enjoying them as bad movies. That wasn't because they had some element to them which was expertly done. It was uh Hey, you wanna watch a terrible movie? That's funny. The old oh the old Super Mario Brothers movie is arguably a better movie than the new Super Mario Brothers movie. 
But the new Super Mario Brothers movie is better for children. It's a it's a good it's a good uh, um, <clears throat> it's it's a good movie for children. Yes, it's got some really weird and broken logic in it. The the uh, the new uh, Super Mario Brothers movie that makes it like uh, from a critical perspective kind of terrible. Like it, it like. They're, they're, they make leaps of logic that don't make sense if you uh, if you think about them as an adult. But, uh, yeah, no. And it's a children's movie, so who gives a fuck? <clears throat> anyway. Oh, yeah, I can take this off my filter now. I had this on my... Um, what do you call it? Uh, I had this on my uh, social media for a while. Because like when people hype up shit, I just go, I, I don't I don't give a shit. Stop it. Stop talking to me about things that aren't out yet. You know, if there's a playable demo of like a video game, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll talk about it for sure. Uh, you know, it's it's why I, I like hyped up Underspace before Underspace actually came. out. Underspace is out now, by the way. But I hyped up Underspace and I hyped up Ardenfell. Ardenfall because they both had uh, demos that you could play. Let me see here. But in general, when people like this whole cycle of hype up next product, I, I don't give a fuck. All right, let's see. Tell me about the lost prophecies. Mera Milo says the dissident priests do have records of Ashlander Nerevarine prophecies, and she has an idea how we might get a look at them. Cool. Now, uh, tell me about Telfir. Telfir, Devaith Fear's tower, is southwest of Sadrith Mora, on an island on the southwestern edge of Zafferbel Bay. Mm -hmm. Here, let me mark it on your map. There's a dock, but no boat service, so you must waterwalk or swim from Sadrith Mora. Use the guild guide service at the Balmora Mages Guild to reach Sadrith Mora. At Sadrith Mora, find Wolverine Hall, Fighters Guild, and ask the scout Sandrin Irathi for detailed directions to Telfir. You know, it's funny that they said there's no boat service because there is actually a boat master in the data files. Um, it just wasn't... Imp she wasn't implemented into the game. And so... I know for a fact my loadout has her in the game and there is boat service there. But, uh, yes. All right. Uh, 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 LOL. I'll just delete that for now. Uh, my goodness. Um, <clears throat> never happened. Okay. All right. So the Fighters the Guild. The Fighters Guild is a professional organization chartered by the Emperor to regulate the hiring and training. Guild a guide. guild guide is a spellcaster of the Mages Guild who provides magical transport for a small fee. Mm -hmm. You can only travel from one Mages Guild to another, but it is the fastest way to travel between Vivek, Balmora. Aldrun, Caldera, and Sadrith Mora. Cool. Um, I think that's about it. So, the Dwemer Artifact? Fast Eddie says Devaith Fear collects Dwemer Artifacts. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know it's treason to trade in Dwemer Artifacts, but don't worry about it. I'm a big-shot Imperial Spymaster, remember? And yes, it's worth a fortune, but you're worth it. The cash is for expenses, and just in case. Good luck. Good luck. We're going. Yes, the person in the boat is also a master trainer. Yeah, that's that's correct. Yep. It's treason then. Very uh very Star Wars. -y. Someone asked me today if uh, I was going to nitpick, like when when my net, when my video nitpicking the uh, Fallout TV show came out. Number one, I don't actually respect Fallout lore uh, very much uh, because, um, well, various reasons. But um, <clears throat> uh, that's this number one, and number two, um, I. Uh, I kind of want to talk about people's obsession with canon and, like, turning everything into a Marvel Cinematic Universe. But products, um, like, 
we should we should more often look at um, games as individual works, and uh, you know when we compare them to one another, um, we're gonna run across to you call it the other side, yeah, to to uh, tell fear, um, but uh, d just in general, the the obsession of uh, making everything into you know a, mar a quote unquote. Uh, cinematic universe where everything fits together and has a cohesive lore it's like yes that's nice when they do it but uh more often than not these developer this are these uh these studios end up using different developers for each game to the point where the same creative no minds aren't at work me. for each thing so um uh it should probably be looked at kind of in um um it, it, these should be looked at as individual works of art made by individual, um, you know, development groups. It's kind of like how, um, <laughs> it, it, if you had a chapel, right, um, and you had a bunch of people, you know, paint a mural on the roof of the chapel, right? You may not be able to, um... You may not be able no to know me. who all worked on that chapel or who put what touches on that chapel, but certainly get it. Uh, they do not create a, like, go to another chapel and go, this is part two of our original chapel drawing. You or, or, you know, like, uh, our, our original, you know, uh, what do you call it? Ce ceiling uh, painting, whatever. Uh, it, uh, what I'm saying is that um, it, these collaborative pieces of art are being done by multiple people, Dark. and you um, run now. what do you call you it? Run uh, now. If the same people, the same principal people, didn't work on um, the next one then it should be considered to be an entirely different work. And uh, we should kind of look at the artistic intentions for one piece of work, not necessarily, you know, and not necessarily being connected to the next work. So, for example, if someone were to make a, 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 se like a sequel to Hound of the Baskervilles for Sherlock Holmes, right? Um, it's very clear that Arthur Conan Doyle had nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? Like, his artistic intent wasn't there in whoever uh, gained the rights to do such a thing. And, and in the case of public domain, well, they already, you know, everyone has the right to do it. So, my point is that I'm, I'm kind of looking more at... Um, what each individual work has to say is like a product of its time. And uh, that is something that annoys people who want to treat everything like a Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it's it's uh, kind of something that puts me at odds with quote unquote fandoms because uh, I like being critical of the things I enjoy but I've also figured out that uh, not the same people work on each thing so you know whilst I do look at missed potential in adaptations and sequels I also don't think that the adaptations and sequels actually affect the original product like uh, I don't, I don't feel that Morrowind was ruined by them, you know, blowing up Red Mountain and killing everybody on Vardenfell, right? Similarly, I don't think New Vegas was ruined by um, the Fallout TV show, because I like New Vegas, the game still exists, and the people who worked on it had absolutely no say in the Fallout TV show. See what I'm saying? So we need to look at individual games less is a part of a living continuity and more is individual pieces uh, made by a certain group of people at a certain time and uh, you can you can create a work later that 
references that old thing, but that old thing is immutable and will not change. That's how I have uh, chosen to look at things now, oh, which is, is um, the, the directly contrary to how Bethesda treats things, where Bethesda wants you to consume latest product. Why ESO is super important that it's canon, and why Fallout 76 is super important that it's canon, it's not because these are worthy artistic works that te you know tr tell a truly living story that um the the original people have uh you know have, have passed the torch on to as, as, a, as a as a truly living piece of art it's not that's not the case at all what's actually happening is they're selling product and you you good consumer should consume product and so that's where i kind of uh go no i'm i'm going to enjoy uh products within their time in other words like uh for example when I play Daggerfall, I, I'm i not, like, I don't assume the warp in the West is ever going to happen because that's a Marwindism. Yes. <clears throat> and then, um, what do you call it? Um, you know, like, Vardenfell, um, uh, like, like the st stuff in Morrowind, like, your destiny is the Navarine, um, and versus what happens to Vardenfell later. That that's entirely um uh what do you call it? That, that that is entirely something that is applied to future games and not uh the Morrowind we are playing. And uh that that's the best way to make sense of it because having an intellectual property rights holder who only has a tangential relationship to the artists that made this what it is, um I don't respect them in the same way that I would respect, you know, the lead writer, for example, or the creative lead, you know, and, and what they would have to say. People say, what about Todd Howard? He was the director. Um, I Like, he he's the guy who, according to, like, just wants to run in with a two-handed axe, doesn't think about dialogue too much, you know? It's um, unfortunate, but true. Hmm. Todd Howard doesn't exactly get my respect in the same way um, as some of the other people. Whoop. Hello. Now you're going to get it. I'm not saying he didn't work very hard uh, as an administrator, but uh, as of Oblivion, he stopped being a developer. developer. Now you're going to get it. And uh, we've identified what parts of Marwind he made, and they aren't very good. That's just the honest truth of it. So I, I will, I will say I respect him as a, um, as an administrator. He can, uh, he can get projects made, and that's cool. Yes. Yep. No, go check out the Oblivion interviews. He's not allowed to code anymore. He's not allowed to work on anything directly. Like he, he, he tells them what to do and they figure out the logistics. Because when he worked on stuff, it wasn't good. Yeah. But I mean, there is talent in that, I think. Like th there, there is value in being an administrator and being able to, because let's be honest here. You can have some of the best ideas in the world, but if you can't coordinate the creative people to put all of those pieces together, then your product never gets made. So I think he, like, I need to, like, clarify that, like, he does have value. It's just not the value people think he does. It's a, it's a different um, kind of value. All right. He, he isn't a uh, creative genius so much as he is a uh, um, an administrator of people. And that's a good thing. All right. My issue is presently, um, you know, they, they really don't... Um, they don't 
have a good, like a strong creative presence um who can uh, like a centralized vision who can uh, on a creative level get people to make um what i call it uh, get the different creatives works like put together in a way that um you know, creates an excellent product. And what I mean by that is they hired actual writers for Starfield. That's all I'm going to say for now. <laughs> We're going this way. They, yes, they've been credited as quest designers. But, um, yeah. 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 They've been they've been credited as quest designers, and uh, that's because in Bethesda, their designers are their writers. Now you're you know, Chris has an administrator, uh, being divided from the project. Yeah, I honestly can't say how um, Starfield like got assembled. I really can't, as much as I want to. I, I just I know that uh, certain like they, they they took the initiative and they hired people uh, who they didn't have before to work on Starfield uh, and I know a couple of them and uh, it is bonkers to me that their talents weren't leveraged properly that's uh, and it the, the only the only possibility in my mind is a failure on the management level that's it because they had talented individuals who could make something out of this. I'm 99.999% I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting out of here. <clears throat> We're heading to Sadrith Mora. By way of a bunch of other directions. It's fine. I need to get... This one has 11 uses, yes. Repair! Yep, yep. You said no design document? Well, actually, I've heard uh, semi-recently that they actually use an internal wiki. And so they did have a series of what are referred to as living documents that were updated frequently. Uh, however, you still need a strong creative vision. Someone like a, a, a human being who has both creative and management skills to be able to rein in all the people. Let me tell you the biggest difference between Starfield and Skyrim. Skyrim had like 100 people. Starfield had, you know, like close to 1,000 contractors. And like... Skyrim was in one physical location. Starfield had people from all these different studios everywhere. Yes. True. Uh, good thing about Starfield is they inspired uh, Hello Games to put out uh, ship creation content. Hey, my current save file in No Man's Sky is still Starborn. Uh, like, like they, they added an event where you can get the Starborn title for your character in uh, in No Man's Sky. Because they could. And so I, I've got this magic staff and, uh, and and the space powers there, yeah. My, my dude's uh, Starborn. <clears throat> it's funny. Alright. Howdy, Shadowrun. Good to see ya. We're, uh... We're not doing the sleepy sleep thing. We're going to spend another couple hours doing the Morrowin thing. And when I'm ready to uh, uh, move on, I'll probably switch to the, the, the MMO thing or Minecraft. I haven't decided yet. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, the, the real problem with Starfield as I saw it was the... The issue with, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I, I don't mind the title of Starborn. I don't mind the name of Starborn. I, I mind that they added space shouts. That's, uh, that's where I thought you guys are fucking lunatics. 
Starborn is actually a really cool, uh, like, name for an alien race. And I was, I was excited when I thought they were aliens. That, when I thought that the story was going somewhere. That excitement got deflated really fast. Yes. Once they uh, revealed themselves. I enjoyed Starfield for like 200 hours, so. It's not like it was a, a bad game to me. More like a mediocre game. And, um... Unfortunately, I ran out of content, which is insane. Think about it. Years later, I'm playing Morrowind still, right? Um, if we think about this, uh, like, years later, I'm playing Morrowind. But, uh, like, I can go play uh, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout 3, you know, even Fallout 4 again. And I'm, I'm a-okay with it, but... And until there's some kind of substantial content, I just I don't see myself playing Starfield again. Like, I do, they they successfully made it to the point where I I do not um I, I I'm I just looking at the um the concept of New Game Plus and I'm like this does not look fun. It does not change. Uh, the uh the dungeons or anything right that's going to be the exact same points of interest just in scrambled locations i'm like that's not fun um yeah it's so bizarre um <clears throat> anyway run while you can bam but yeah I, like i i have to say having uh chatted with people I, I've seen that there's some really talented people who worked on Starfield. One of them um, has like has proven he can write for video games, like beyond a shadow of a doubt. And so they credited him with quest designer and gave him uh, some NPCs to to voice and you know that that uh, not voice but uh, what do you call it. Uh, Give him some NPCs, and that was the end of the day, apparently. It's bonkers. He said there's the next five DLCs coming out. What? <laughs> um, well, they've, uh, they've announced that Starfield has a Shattered Space DLC, which uh, they sold people as like a uh, early access, not early access, but uh, like a, if, if you buy the premium edition, of Starfield, you get the uh, Shattered Space DLC with it, and you so they're committed to making now. that, no matter how well Starfield did. Uh, you know what's crazy? Like I've mentioned this on stream before, but uh, Daggerfall has is like all all of its quests, other than the main quest, are Radiant quests. So. The difference between Starfield's Radiant Quests and Daggerfall's Radiant Quests is that Daggerfall's Radiant Quests have a paragraph to, like, two-page pop-up that tells you what you're going to be doing and why you're going to be doing it. The nobleman needs this particular item to make a potion to save his kid, and you need to help us do it. You know what I mean? Like, um... And, and that's, it's a randomly generated ingredient from a randomly generated nobleman in a randomly generated dungeon. And yet, because it pops up with a paragraph to uh, two pages, somewhere in that range of justification, it doesn't feel like, you know, the, the uh, Starfield Radiant Quest where it pops up and says, kill the bandit leader in location. It's just fluff text. Functionally, they do the same thing. It's just the fluff text makes all the difference in the world. It's crazy. Yeah. 
Okay, we gotta go north to tell fear. <clears throat> Bug catcher. We did it. The horn beetle is defeated. Let me continue north. Yep, yep. Yes, it makes it feel epic, even though you're just a, um, you're just a delivery boy, you know? You're, you're doing, uh, the most basic of, uh, fetch quests. There's Fargoth. <clears throat> Perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean... The main story was the thrust of Daggerfall, but they kept adding more. Feature creep kind of took over the project. Yes. Fight, coward! Mm -hmm. You wish they added being able to play as a ghoul in uh, um, in Fallout games. It's kind of funny because you can uh, play as a ghoul in Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, and that's kind of a terrible game. But um, you know. It, it still lets you play as a ghoul. So it's not like they've never... Uh, sorry, I say they. I mean, the Fallout franchise has never done it before. Um, oh, jeez. I'm looking at that Dwemer automaton down there. That's the best Fallout. Oof. Ma major oof. Here we go. So, we're going to rest for 14 hours. Fallout Tactics was interesting. Um, hold on. As my corpus progressed near, I'm going to need to eat and drink, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, this thing costs a fortune, he said. It's worth 60 gold. People don't know what they're talking about. Good. Food. Water. We're gonna head north. Whoops. That is, I believe this is where you get the ebony mail if you are a uh, head of the tribunal temple. This is the birthplace of Amalexia. Crazy. She was born in between a bunch of stones. Okay. Let's continue north. Up, 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 um. But those wants you to imagine quests instead of writing them. Well, I mean, games have done that successfully, though. Like, games have actually left things up to the player's imagination and done so in spectacular ways. Hold on a second. Whoops. But no, um... Oh, what do we got? Ogus. Ogus. Uh, that is an ogre. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prepare. Yep, here we go. That's a golden now saint as well. That is a big ogre. Damn. Never seen an ogre that big. I've stunned him. He's not dead yet. He's just paralyzed. Okay, my Dramora is almost down. Me. This Golden Saint is being a pain. One of us will die here. The and Dramora is dead. Me. The Golden Saint Assassin had a Daedric Tower Shield with a Daedric Katana and an Ebony sh uh, Short Blade Dagger. Crazy. That is an Ogrim Behemoth. That reminds me of the Behemoths in Fallout 3. It wasn't for a sad. Because there are too many of them. 
yeah. going to get it. Pink Shrek. Crazy. What are we fighting? Oh, the rat. Crazy. That rat had the blight. You gotta be careful or you'll get the blight too. Seriously though, we are gonna waste some time and do some things. Oh. We're not going to that Ashlander camp. We're gonna ignore that one. Mm -hmm. Use the radiation as a power source. Become more dependent on the radiation to survive. Yeah, that'll be interesting. There's Tell Fear in the distance. We're gonna stop. We're gonna say Tell uh, Fear go. Uh, go. Then, you're gonna rest for 24 hours. I wanna progress my corpus and see what happens. Your corpus has worsened, it says. I don't know about that. We must rest again. Rest! My corpus has worsened. Huh. Not, uh, changing the stats. Which is interesting. Okay. Mm you found out that Obsidian wanted to make super mutants and ghouls playable. But Bethesda... Ahem. <clears throat> Said their engine couldn't handle it. Um, I don't. I don't think that's true. I mean, they might have said that, but I'm certain their engine could have handled it. All right. Let me see. Oh, that's a that's a pretty funny one. Um. I wish Pokemon was real. Um, rebuttal. Beedrill is three foot tall. I see. Ahem. Yeah, they didn't have the time sounds more plausible to me. A lot more plausible. Okay. We're chilling out. We're looking at this. So, we're wasting time here to try to see if Corpus progresses because it says it's worsened, right? Ahem. Today is the day of shame. On Hammerfell Seaside, no one leaves their homes. It is believed that the Crimson Ship filled with the victims of the Krathian Plague refused refuge hundreds of years ago and will return on this day. Oof. That is, that is major oof. Yeah, Corpus ain't progressing worth shit. I was trying to see if it would progress and, like, deplete my stats faster. But, uh... Yeah, I'm not seeing any evidence of that. So I'm probably just gonna wait a few more days. And then, uh... We'll, uh, figure things out. But I'm gonna die of thirst! I understand that, but, uh, more importantly... There we go. No, not even. It's just serious hunger. So yeah, I, I don't think so. Like uh, the, it says the corpus worsened, but I don't. I think that's a dirty lie. Like I'm not looking. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Uh, well, actually, strength is up. Huh. Never mind. Strength is improved. This is yeah. It, it is actually boosting my stats. I think. We'll find out the next time it progresses. For now, we must drink. And then eat. So. Um. Ho, 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 ho. What is boosting my... Corpus is boosting my strength by one point, it says. So. Yeah, I don't know about that. Corpus has worsened. Yeah. Strength and endurance, one point... Everything else, it's, it's not its not progressing, I think. I think that's a dirty lie. So, uh, who knows? 
Mm, there we go. No. No, I'm not seeing any evidence of progression, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop. I'm gonna go ahead and just restart the video game real quick. Give me a moment. Um. <clears throat> yes. Yes, yes. Corpus is supposed to keep progressing, but I'm just gonna screw it and, and just go. Let me go. Let me re mess with something. Here we go. Ooh. What? Um. I know. We wait. So, uh, the fear go. We're going to the fear. And we're gonna get ourselves cured. I'm sure it'll be fine. We're gonna go visit the Corpusarium. Meet with, uh, some godly figures. That's not true. Uh, your strength and endurance went up one point every time I rested? Let's find out. Let's, uh, let, let, let's, let's, let's test this. I'm curious. So, um, <clears throat> we, 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 re we drink, we eat. Um, yeah, we should be fine. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to rest. And, okay, so my strength is 106, right? Let's double check. Okay, my strength is 106. It's 107 now. Okay. Wait for it. 108. Okay. So, yeah, my stats are uh, changing. That's that's fine. We need to go to the water collector in a second. Oh. Stupid. You should We run. got a Cliffy racer after me. So, yeah, it it, it it is working. It is absolutely working. Not bad. My strength and endurance are going up. Yeah. That is very silly. It yeah, it it doesn't change the buff apparently. The buff doesn't change, but the stat effects do. <clears throat> yeah, I was reading the buff and the buffs uh, haven't changed. Meaning that it just doesn't display its changes for whatever reason. Yeah. I don't care that it's slow. I care that it's uh, you're gonna work or not. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go over here. We gotta do a few things. First and foremost, eat. Secondly, drink. So we're gonna hang out near Telfear and get some uh, some buffs. Uh, drinking for buffs. Next, we are going to rest for three days. Yep. My corpus is worsening. It's fine. So we're just going to wait like a month. Which sounds absurd, but uh, is absolutely what's going to happen. My corpus is worsening. All right, I'm wondering if I... Uh, my intelligence is high enough. My personality is high enough. I wonder... Hold on a second. Let's go... Um, uh, restore personality. Let's try that. Well, apparently the damage is temporary and can be staved off with restoration powers. This is fine. Uh, we'll, we'll see if intelligence went down again. Hold on. We're gonna wait another, th yeah, wait another day. Okay. My corpus is worsened. We can repair the damage and keep the benefits. That's it. We're going adventuring. Yeah. Now you're going to get it. I think so. Let's go have a look at our quest log. Yeah. We can survive with Corpus for a while. Uh, we're, we're going to... Uh, we're going to go adventuring and... Uh, 
uh, uh, like just continually repair the damage. That's it's funny. Like it, Caius wants me to be a, be quote unquote cured, but I don't think his cure is gonna help too much for now. So I should uh, take advantage of this. We're gonna go find Azora and get her quest done. I think that's the first thing. I think it's like over here, somewhere around. Let me see. I'm gonna find Azora's shrine. 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 Okay, I, f I found her shrine. It is, like, over here-ish. Like, in this spot, so. Uh, we're, go we're going down. We're going to the Shrine of Azura. And we're gonna see what Azura says about our corpus. She'll probably say nothing. Which is hilarious, considering, you know, everything that's going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you hope they do Skyrim with spell making. I, I could see that. I, I would enjoy that. Spell making. Um, I'd say like a robust cooking system, maybe. If I if if they're gonna commit to to crafting as like their their primary shenanigan, then I'd like them to commit all the way. You gonna do soul time stuff? So what's going to happen is we're going to finish the main quest of Morrowind. Then I'm going to take a break from Morrowind for a little while and focus on other games. Then I'll come back around and do Tribunal. When Tribunal's done, um, to, again, take a break and then uh, come back, play Blood Moon. And, uh, that's, and then uh, once Blood Moon's done, we'll take another break and then do more of the, um, what do you call them? Um... Like that, the DL, the the expansion and DLC mods and stuff. There, there's a lot of there's a lot of mods that are big, gigantic actually, and I want to look at them in the fullness of time. Gear customization, yes, I, cloaks, please, thank you. I know, I know, spears are a dirty word at Bethesda these days. Uh, the people at ZeniMax Online Studios were told, uh, do, do not mention Spear, and then someone, uh, like, one of their guests mentioned you Spears, and they're like, run. we can't talk about Spears, man. It's, 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 uh, like, it, yeah. D don't do it. Anyway. Um, but I would like cloaks. And maybe independent shoulder pieces. I, I'd like more gear slots than what we have in the game. Like, right now. I want something at least Daggerfall level. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Why Spears? It's a very good question. Couldn't tell you why not Spears. That'd have to be a conversation between you and Bethesda. Because, uh, ZeniMax Online Studios ain't talking. I'm grabbing some of the, uh, items here. Yep. It's good, though. Spears are too overpowered. Reach is king. Um, we must sleep for eight hour. Oh, I guess to seven a.m. Your corpus has worsened. So every time we see that our corpus worsened, what we can do is we can restore intelligence. I guess it doesn't matter that it's drained one point. We like uh, tomorrow we can restore our stats, but. Uh, Someone was uh, mentioning the new season of Konosuba. Um, I don't think it's really great. I think it's kind of old hat at this point. But I did find uh, a really funny line where, um, like, the priestess Aqua, her stats didn't go up when she leveled. And so the, uh, the main character asked her about that, and she said, Don't you know my stats are already max? Like, uh, be because, you know, she isn't a normal person. She she basically came into the world with max stats. And um, the main character, having heard that, started crying. 
because her intelligence was never going to go up no matter how much she leveled. She was going to stay an idiot her entire life. I thought that was pretty funny. <clears throat> okay. No matter how much she leveled, her intelligence would never go up. Yep. Okay. We're heading on down. This area is pretty cool. A lot of muck sponges here if we need to craft with muck. Doesn't matter a whole lot, but uh, just kind of something that's interesting. Mm -hmm. When are you going to play Battlespire? Not this year, that's for sure. Maybe Battlespire multiplayer. That might be fun. Yes. You said Konosuba fell off in popularity? There's a uh, Konosuba dungeon crawler that's like wizardry. It's pretty cool. Let me uh, see here. It was... Um... I'm looking at it. Uh, uh, okay, let me let me see here. Uh, I'm looking at this uh, nonsense. Um, this looks like a dating simulator. What the hell? Yeah, it's a visual novel. I thought it was a like. They, I guess they don't have the dungeon crawler here. What a shame. What a shame. <clears throat> Is Battlespire actually good? Battlespire has great elements to it, but it's an awful game due to not being able to control it very well. Uh, let me see. Do, do, do. What else? Mm -hmm. Ah. I see. Yeah, I looked at it. It's not the game I was thinking of. What a shame. That's just a visual novel, aka uh, dating simulator. Bash. Bash. Run Argonian wants to kill me. Damn, this guy's tanky. He's hitting me with multiple damage effects. It's great seeing his mouth move despite him being paralyzed. Yep, Bash. It was an Argonian Raider. He had a ring. He had a magic ring. What was it? I, I didn't see. It is a ring of shock guard. You want to become uh, resistant to shock. Resistances in this game are so situational, I never use them. It makes me sad, because they should be more useful than they are. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, this ain't too bad. None of my stats have dropped too low. Alright. We're gonna continue. I'm gonna pretend they don't see me. And maybe they won't. Maybe I will get to where I want to go without more fighting. That is a Daedric Ruin. I will definitely be seen. It is time to fight. Go Dramora. Go Golden Saint. Go Wing Twilight. My conjuration skill has increased. This is good. All right, that scamp needs to die. Scamp skin is a source of uh, strength, I believe. Yes. No, it's restore strength. Okay, scamp skins aren't that great then. At least the Golden Saint will have some, uh, yeah, expensive sword. Okay. Where are we going next? No idea. At least we can, uh... Grab these. Gonna cast most innovative. Gotta restore my stamina. Yes. We're still heading down. We're looking for Azura Shrine. I'm pretty sure that is the Dissonant Priest Shrine. Or temple up there. The people who believe Lord Nerevar will return. Uh, it, the temple only opens at certain times of day. Dawn and dusk, I believe. 
every other part of the day it uh, isn't open day and night unfortunately going there na now will not avail me much not yet but we're going for a Zura shrine anyway God, this feels like a Minecraft world. Look at the, uh, look at the mainland in the distance across the middle ocean. Like, <laughs> this just screams Minecraft world to me. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, you should, Elder Scrolls 6 should have good scrolls. Yeah, so someone actually made a mod for me because I wanted to make a character that uh, used uh, scrolls like as her primary thing. Like she couldn't cast magic herself, but she could use items. And so someone, uh, <clears throat> someone made a mod for me where they, um, like, you could turn barnacles into ink because there was a scroll crafting mod already, and uh, we just wanted to fine tune that mod with patches. There's a Zora Shrine. I do like Smeeze the Kirby's. Yep. Right over there. Let's go. Top quality number one. Oh now no. You're going to get it. For a second I thought like Daedra were attacking me at a Zora Shrine. Turned out to be um <clears throat> turned out to be a rat. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um your laptop got laggy on games. Um, no, you had to beat the game with OpenMW on your phone. Well, that was cool that you managed to do that, though. Um, there's a lot of options for like making things more or less laggy. What with the uh, what do you call it? Uh, under video detail level, water lights, things like that. Lots of things you can change. Is this a mod for Skyrim? Yeah, sure. It's the, we're playing Skyrim right now. Okay. Uh, before we do anything else, as as your uh, let's go. Do we have to fight things? I'm assuming there's something hostile in here that wants to kill us. No. I guess the hostiles didn't add anything. What a shame. Ness. Right. The mod for scrolls? Uh, that was Skyrim. Yes. That was when I was doing them their character builds, trying to hammer Skyrim into the shape of an RPG. Which it never was. It never could be. Whoa, boy! You have come here for a reason, though you may not know what it is. Sheogorth and I have made a wager. He contends that solitude causes madness, while I maintain it allows for solace and meditation. To test this, I sent one of my priestesses to live alone on an island north of Dagenfell. If she can live there for a hundred years, continuing her life of prayer, my theory will be proven. If not, Sheogorath wins our wager. The time has almost passed, and she remains steadfast. But Sheogorath has tried to sway the decision in his favor. Travel there, rid the island of his minions, and bring back proof of his meddling. Do not disturb the wise woman, though, as that would void our wager. Serve me, and I will reward you well. All right, we're going to get rewarded. We need to bring back proof. Now, uh, what were you saying? Oh, yeah, so uh, the laptop is over eight years old now. Um, I mean, if you still have that laptop, try installing Linux uh, on it instead. Windows ha takes up a, a gigantic amount of overhead, and you can free up a whole ton of system resources by uh, running a uh, 
you know, a lightweight Linux distribution. And it'll let you play things like uh, Morrowind and RetroArch and stuff like that. You know, you can you can load Steam on it. Whoop. Here we go. One of us will die. It's worth me. Okay. For 100 years, Day uh, Daedra, it's not that big a deal. Correct. In fact, for an Altmer or a uh, Dunmer, probably not too bad. It would, you know, it's still a chunk of your life, but uh, <clears throat> it's uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna grow old in uh, 100 years as an elf. All right. But yeah, I have uh, four laptops right now. And they are all old. And uh, they, they run, uh, three of them run Linux, one runs Windows. The, well, the, the Windows one is newer, but uh, the, the other three are old. No and, one uh, can challenge me. I run Linux on them. It's restored uh, most of their functionality at this point. <clears throat> because unfortunately, Windows updates. Make your computer run slower and slower and slower. Planned obsolescence. Go buy a new PC. Kiddo. Alright. You want a uh, nice little nice game where you aren't going to get wizard at the start? Makes sense. Really does make sense. I've uh, whoop. what do you call it? Um, I like the idea of earning or building up your magicka reserves somehow. An ant. Spider. Crazy. That guy is dead. We're good. Wonder what's the superpower next time? Probably. Um. You said stopping Windows updates are the first thing to do on a new PC? No. Because if you do that, then you're going to have security vulnerabilities that are going to get worse and worse. If you want your PC hijacked, then, uh, you know. That's, uh, that's something you can do. You should run Okay. Whoop. Updates exist for a reason. They're just really shitty when it comes to Windows. The real terrible thing is that they uh, they tend to weave in a bunch of malware and uh, well, not malware, malware, but uh, you know. Tracking telemetry and stuff. You said, what's a little uh, key logging gonna hurt? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <clears throat> I mean, Windows, like Microsoft is already tracking you. Like, they, they see it as operating system as a service. They have a back door into your PC where they can take control of your PC whenever they want. Um, which is why um, you yeah, never connect to the internet and you're good. That, that's, that's precisely it. Yeah. Never connected the internet. Oh god, it's a devourer. This is terrible. Thing's gonna beat the crap out of me. Oh no. This is not the last of this. Yeah, Far got stuck on a rock, so he's like, I will have my vengeance! This is not the last of this! He's not. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, uh, like probably sword singing. But you know, Fusro Da flavored as uh, the ancient Red Guard art of uh, generating an energy sword and uh, what do you call it? Um, generating an energy sword and then casting spells out of it. Yep. That's probably going to be a thing. 
instead of Fusro duh, it'll be like some kind of uh, musical shenanigan. Okay. I'm trying to fill in this spot on the map. This spot has not been filled in yet. Almost there. We almost got it. We did it. I mean, day goth, far goth. We know what's going on. We're heading north. Getting it done, bit by bit. that wants to kill us. Summon our own golden saint. Summon the bad weapon for some reason. Run while you can! Cool. That's better. Victory is mine. Golden saint shield, heart. That's all good stuff. Vargoth, help. I am over encumbered. I suffer so. I'll take those swords. Okay. A lot of goth. Yes. There was a funny meme about uh, how everyone wants a goth girlfriend, and it's like uh, the destruction of the American shopping mall is why you you can't get one because uh, that was their natural habitat. All right, let's see here. What do we got? Uh, hmm. Put the crab there. Yeah, we should be fine. Yes. Oh boy, it's the corpus. Yes. Fargoth cycle speaks of how Fargoth will one day fall into darkness and become Fargoth Ur, the true uh, enemy of Tamriel. Yes. Ah, crap. Okay. 
okay? I, I have no proof. This is just off the top of my head, okay? I have absolutely no proof this is going to be the next game, all right? Yeah, now that we know we're getting stronger every day that passes, and we can uh, stave off the weakness, we're going to use the divine disease to grow stronger and stronger. Dagother says, flesh of my flesh. And if I turn into an abomination flesh monster and I have to fight Dagother in that form, that'd be cool. I don't think it's gonna happen, but uh, you know. Run while you can! <laughs> That's neither here nor there. She's just standing there drinking all the potions. That's all she did. She just kept chugging potions. Like, she knew deep down in her heart of hearts that uh, she was going to die, and she wanted all of the uh, all of the skooma before that happened. I have no idea what caused that. Uh, caused her to break so, but uh, it is what it is what it is. Okay, we're gonna grab those iron boots and look up there. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Good. Let's uh, uh, figure out what we're gonna drop here. The iron boots. The common clothes as well. Yeah. Common clothes. We do not need. The big deal will be in the uh, shoes. The shoes have value. Oh, sorry, they have weight. Why do shoes weigh so much? I don't know. Yeah, we're just getting rid of some uh, gear there. Expensive pants. <clears throat> now, it's kind of funny because uh, we're supposed to kill Dagother, but it turns out we can... Uh, now you're going to get it. We can rid ourselves of the negative effects of Corpus by uh, casting spells. Specifically, uh, Restoration. We can restore the stats that Corpus steals from us and only gain the endurance and... Uh, uh, 
whatchamacallit, uh, the, the endurance and strength as they slowly go up. No big deal. The positives from Corpus, specifically the, uh, the strength and endurance bonuses, those stay. The negative bonuses, are, sorry, the, the detriments, they go away. Negative bonuses. That's funny. But now, yeah, the, the, uh, the affliction leaves you, but you become fortified for your uh, time having Corpus. I mean, if you go directly to get it cured, you will not have uh, as much added strength and endurance as you would. In theory, if you had a way of getting people to like you uh, enough, you could uh, get, you could like power through the main quest and then, uh, while at low level, get all those strength endurance bonuses. And that way, you like every time you level up, you'll be able to take advantage of the higher endurance. This is going to be fun! Whoop. There we go. There are all kinds of weird ways to metagame the systems here. They, uh... Like, this isn't the best balanced game, but in its imbalance, in, in giving the player so many options, it's actually really fun. Ahem. <clears throat> you thought they patched out the ability? We'll find out soon. I want to do Azura's quest anyway. And here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We will... Um, we will save the game. We will get cured. And if it removes our bonus, we will stay cured. But if it doesn't remove our bonus, then we will... Um, what do you call it, uh, reload to before we got cured and uh, <clears throat> continue uh, adventuring because uh, you should run. there's all kinds of things we can do, especially on the mainland and while the disease progresses so one way or the other we should be okay but first things first, we're going to go get Azura's star. <clears throat> Bug. It's actually in the wall. Yeah. That bug was in the wall for some reason. I have no idea why. Okay. Ancestral tomb is attacking us. The bug! It's back! It's dead. Fair enough. We got it. As we go through, what's what we give us? Restore health. So we can make healing potions with all this wick The fields are pretty uh, big. Some of these wheat uh, stocks don't have anything. I assume I was reading an audiobook while picking wheat at some point. Now you die. Now I die. Now you're going to get it. Yes. No one can challenge me. Oh. Yeah, I didn't want to participate in that fight as much, but uh, no problem. Okay. What do we got? Exploited the maximum amount of comedy that can be extracted. Uh, oh, you're, you're talking about your uh, your obsession. Yeah, I kind of just shrugged and went, nope, don't care. Let's uh, keep talking. These Ashlanders are poorly geared. They could probably be easily slain. Hell yeah. Ash yams a plenty. That pack war is not my pack war. It belongs to the baddies. So it will not respond to me. <clears throat> that is sad. Okay. The B 
beetle is dead. Oh, hail the next area. We go north. What else? Now just keep going north. is truly powerful. We cannot uh, suffer him to live. This, uh... Oh no. What happened? But I heard something in the distance. Must have been my imagination. You should run. Must have been the wind in that ash storm, you know. We get good loot from that. Ah, the guy shouted. Oh, this is too easy. He's so angry. Yep. Yeah. Oh, to be man. you, sir. Miss stupid archer. Yeah, you guys didn't do so well. They tried their best and failed miserably. some left for dead. I remember the DDoS attacks. <clears throat> left for dead uh, players are being uh, DDoSed. That's unfortunate. I mean, that game is still playable even with bots. So, you could uh, potentially either play it offline or use, uh, you know, direct connect, I think. Wasn't there a way to uh, connect other players without using their matchmaking servers? I thought there was. Golub! You should run now. Okay, we need to cast a Wing Twilight. And a Okay. Got our conjuration happening. This is going to I pissed off the Fargoth, I pissed off the Fargoth. What a shame. What a shame. There's actually nowhere to go here. We're doomed. We're doomed. We pissed off Fargoth. Drunk karaoke night. Good luck with that! <laughs> so big. The Wrath of Fargoth. <laughs> yep. Everything is loud. Oh, I'm dead. Careful with that friend. Careful with that friend. 
careful with that frick. Why did I die? There we go. It's a shame, too. Well, I'm gonna have to go AFK. I'll see y'all in about five, ten minutes. We'll get another maybe hour of gameplay in before I switch games. So, uh, see y'all soon. In like five minutes.
Almost back. Just got to do one more thing. Almost. So, booting things up. Let's go. Fargoth killed us. We were made dead. Because an ash storm hit. And we accidentally hit Fargoth in the confusion. And he retaliated and destroyed us. Could that be the canonical ending to the playthrough? Oh no. That would be awful. Who could save the world from Fargoth Earth? Certainly not me. What's in the tent? Someone yelling at me. Got it. What a shame. It was a man in a yurt. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> right, right, right. Let me see here. It was... Looking. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. Still looking? Huh. What else? Probably the vanity mod. Yes. Nope, don't see anything like it. Me out. Uh, b -b 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 almost. Oh, wow. Hmm. I found a uh, mod that uh, adds the, uh, what do you call it, the bodysuits from Daggerfall. Remember the uh, ones I was using? Apparently, uh, <clears throat> very lore-friendly, yes. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, th those are pretty impressive. Oh, well. I, I don't see anything I want to use at the moment. We'll have to research this a little more thoroughly. Before we figure out uh, what kind of miscellaneous gear piece mod we can actually put to use. For a... Uh, <clears throat> monster murders me. Destroy it. Destroy it. 
Not dead yet. You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. Okay. Glass, diamond, emerald, ruby, raw glass. Yes. <clears throat> right. You don't deserve to live. Next, we are going this way. So that is a Telvani mushroom house as it applies, but we need to go in this direction. We're heading to the Northern Islands. We're being chased. We're being hunted. Do you see it? Now you're going to get it. Very good, Fargoth. Fargoth destroyed it for us. Now that beetle, on the other hand, oh, same number of hits. What a shame. Okay. Ahem. Rock creature is hiding in plain sight. On the plains, correct. It's true. I'm being tackled by something. Oh God! They see that that's what it was. It was hiding in plain sight. You're right. Congratulations, you. <clears throat> At least we paralyzed him. This should be fine. Fetcher time. No one can challenge me. See, no one can challenge Fargo. True. Mm-hmm. What? An AI bot? Who are you talking about? Who's an AI bot? I mean... It wasn't a couple years ago that people were being declared Russian bots. So what's what's happening here? <clears throat> this way. What are you talking about? Those are people on Twitch. You silly person. Yeah, right. North Spell Sword, rolled paper. <clears throat> yeah, I don't need any of this. She's dead. Victory is mine. Let's get out of here. We gotta go north. We must head to the Sanctus Shrine, I believe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Twitter users, bots, what's the difference? <laughs> uh, uh, to Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Twitter users are the bots, not the Twitch. The dead, dead internet theory? Yes. The dead internet theory was just a theory. Now, due to uh, the over-reliance on chatbots, um, it's actually over half of the internet now is just made up bot bullshit. Great. Yep. The real issue is when two bots interact with each other and defeat each other's delusions. That's the, the crazy part. Bot delusions are real. They will uh, come up with all kinds of bullshit. And uh, they will, you know, print misinformation because they, it, the, the algorithm just told them to, right? And so... Um, what ends up happening is uh two bots will talk to each other and they will feed off each other's delusions and become more and more erratic 
in terms of their output. It's actually really terrible. All right. Hmm. Let's go. Well, that's just it. Because people give incorrect answers all the time on the internet, and what we refer to as AI is just a pattern matching algorithm, they match patterns that are wrong because those are the patterns that are given to them fed into the program so uh incorrect information it you know stated by humans enough times as correct information is just going to be matched by the algorithm <clears throat> All I can think of now is the Are You Winning Son uh, meme. I like that one a lot. Let me see here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yes. Uh, I, do, I don't see it. Damn. I thought I had the Are You Winning Son meme here, but uh, it's not on this page. What a shame. Just remember, everybody. <clears throat> Here's a meme I found. Unlike you, I get my news from a reliable source. There you go. Okay. Deleting some extra things running in the background. All right, let's get going. Now you're going to get it. You never finished the Cowboy Bebop anime? It's really good. It. it it's kind of funny, though, because in Japan, Cowboy Bebop never got really popular. So people are just kind of, like, in Japan, they're wondering, why are Westerners so obsessed with, uh, with this, uh, you know, anime that wasn't, in, in their eyes, very popular? It was like a niche show. Okay. Fortify illusion. We're going through Shalegrad. Our goal is to reach the Sanctus Shrine. Mm -hmm. Why was it popular here? Because it's a space western. It, it's a pulp western where you know every day there's a new problem for them uh, like them to solve and it's um, very similar to the Mandalorian uh, in, in premise I'm saying not not in execution but uh, pulp westerns have always typically been uh, popular in the West and uh, cowboy bebop takes uh, that into, you know, Japanese cartoon form. Part of it is, like, how do I put this? It's really well thought out as a series. Um, <clears throat> but the thing is, I remember the original writers for Ruby were told, um, go watch Cowboy Bebop as, like, homework for writing the show. Ruby's terrible, by the way. It had potential to be good. Like, it's said it's world-building and stuff weren't bad. It's just, then it went 
in every direction but where it should have. You know, another example of premise versus execution. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Spike Spiegel was a, a fun character. Self-destructive man. Very much so. I didn't like how Julia showed up at the very end. Um... I felt like that kind of spoiled the whole mystery just by kind of resolving everything at the very end. And that kind of, uh... Ah, oh, shit. Um... It's a good show. It's just... Its ending is rushed. It's, it's almost like they knew... that it, Rather than creating a proper ending, they kind of just, um... What do you call it? Um, they just kind of went to wrap everything up in a single episode, and or a two two part or whatever. Didn't feel good that way. Dragon Ball, yeah, Dragon Ball Z was popular everywhere. In fact, in third world countries, it like took off into insane levels. It uh, it, it went crazy. Uh, like crazy amounts of popularity. Do, 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 do. Um, yes. Mm hmm. We're right. Damn. I've killed the butterflies. Their wings are mine. No. No wings on that other moth. Oh, I managed to get that one. I didn't think I was going to be able to hit it. Okay, so this is the Sanctus Shrine. We're not supposed to go in the shack. Yeah. Um, wait. That's Lilira. That's not Miss Dorland. Then where is she? Oh God! Where are the why are there so many butterflies here? The Sanctus Shrine generates butterflies for the sake of uh, people enjoying them. And you keep killing them for loot. Yes. Uh, but seriously, it's not the Sanctus Shrine then. Hmm. Let me look. Yes. Morrowin. Okay. So, I need to find a particular target. Hmm. I'm not sure where she is. It's kind of weird. It's me being, uh, Crazy. Shale Goroth's signet ring. That's where it is. <clears throat> Master Aaron is... No, that's a different thing. Oh. It's gonna drive me nuts trying to remember where it was. Does Shale Garth give you anything for disturbing her? Nope. You're supposed to go kill a bull netch with a fork. Hmm. Alright. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Um <clears throat> let me see what else we got. Uh but, 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 no, I, I cannot find it. It should be Yeah. Hmm.
I, I really... I'm composed. So... Let me look at the journal again. Near the island, uh, Daedra, <clears throat> Dagon Fell. So D Dagon Fell is not Sheograd. I believe Dagon Fell. It's over here, maybe. Hmm. This way. I said this before. Oh, it's still Shadow God region. Oh, interesting. Um, what time is it? 4 a.m. Yes. Okay, this doesn't feel like Dagon Fell. I think it's further west. I mean, it's cool that there's a da Daedric ruin there. Technically, all the Daedric ruins are. Uh, Velothi ruins from the old Velothi high culture. But nobody cares about that anymore. We're heading on back. Mud crabs! They are attacking. You don't deserve to live. You don't deserve to live. So, yeah. Let me check something. <clears throat> right. It doesn't seem quite right. Looking for a specific button. Yeah, there's definitely no help for me there. All right, we're going to continue east all the way to the end. Hopefully we can find the uh, lady. We need Azura's star. That's our goal. Hmm. <clears throat> I believe it's funny that corpus makes you stronger and then its uh, detriments are um, are removable. That is to say you look at the uh, the damage stats and you can use the restore spell and if you know the restore spell you can cast it every day and just be like no I, I, I don't choose to be weak. Thank you very much. And so you end up with more strength and endurance, and your intelligence and personality and speed remain unchanged. So it becomes strictly a boon, a blessing. Just like they said. <clears throat> Alright. Onwards and sideways. Whoop. Oh, this is too easy. Good. We're gonna stab him. There we go. Two. Great. Oh, yeah. The way I like to approach series these days is when you're playing Daggerfall. The warp in the west never happens because you are playing Daggerfall, and they never conceptualize such a thing. So, um, when you go to play Morrowind, obviously the warp in the west has happened because that's part of the history of Morrowind. But, you know, the whole, uh, uh, whole Oblivion Crisis thing, like... There's no indication that they planned for that. The riots in the Imperial City were due to Jaeger Tharn in Elder Scrolls 1, right? So again, you just kind of shrug and go, uh, 
Like, Oblivion and Skyrim never happened. It was just the Navarines adventure. But then when you go to Oblivion, obviously Morrowind did happen because they say it did, but the Navarine went to Akavir. Did you go to Akavir in Elder Scrolls Three? No, you didn't. But uh, basically you just treat each uh, game that you're playing as the last game in the series. And then uh, the previous games happened. Um, this is going to be fun. But, uh, you know, whatever they decided to come up with later is... Uh, uh, unless, of course, you're doing a playthrough where you want to pretend like you're the same character. You know, using uh, a vampire or so some shenanigans, you know, mods. <clears throat> but, um... The Warp in the West is that all of Daggerfall's endings happen simultaneously instead of you picking one and then playing the post-game with it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so... Are you excited about the Fallout 4 Next Gen update? No, I'm probably going to hold it back because it doesn't do anything to the, the PC except break the mods, right? Yeah. That's it. Um... Uh... Yeah, I mean, they're probably going to push the creation club forward. You know, the, the, the creations. That's what the next gen update is for. Um, ahem, right. Let me see here. Ba, 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 ba. Figure it out. Ah. Ah, I see. Ah, I see. So, it, Dagenfell is this place right here. This, this little village here is Dagenfell. Yes. So there's an island near here. I don't think it's the Dwemer Ruin Island up north. But it might be the island further north. So it's not in Dagenfell, it's near Dagenfell. I'm going to head up north and figure out what's going on. <clears throat> good, good, good. But no, the next gen update for Fallout 4 means nothing to anybody um, who, like, for now, the answer is downgrade your copy as soon as you get, as soon as, like, Steam forces it to update. Just, um, reverse that and, uh, what would they call it? Restore your executable so that you aren't using it because your mods are going to break. Then a little later on, after the mods have all been ported over, then update so that, you know, you can have the latest version Diseased mud crab. What happened, Fargoth? I don't know. It was weird. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. So, um... Quote-unquote next-gen update doesn't have anything that uh, mods don't already give you. I'm pretty sure... They haven't announced it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's the real purpose for it is going to be pushing the, uh, the creations men, like, uh, the paid mod system live. See, what they're going to do is they're going to use the, um, what do you call it, uh, the Microsoft Partner Center, which is the Minecraft Marketplace framework, to let you sell mods. Isn't that exciting? Don't you want to do that? Don't you want to be the grand mod seller? Make a dungeon, show it off. Bethesda will be like, "Oh boy, let's, let's sell that thing." It's happened to a few people. There's actually some good things in uh, the Skyrim version. 
There's like two of them that I really want to buy someday when I want to play the next, uh, do the next Skyrim run. It's just, um, knowing that that's the true motivation the wrong for message. updating it is, you know, lovely. More money! That's it. More money. Baseballs 2. The search for more money. Run while you can. Yes, Lone Star owed a terrible debt oh, to Pizza the Hut. Easy. That's what it was. Where are we going? This way. Ahem. <clears throat> You said there's so much to fix within the PC version. And it looks like all it adds is widescreen support, some weapon skins, and bug fixes. Uh, how many bug fixes do you think it actually has? Now you're going to get it. I'm willing to bet, uh... Whoop. Uh, that's a harpy. Yeah, I don't like those harpies, so I'm going to tell the game to uh, murder them with the power of uh, summon Flame Atronach. Frost Atronach. And... Where's the storm one? Storm Atronach. Oh, good. See the Atronachs firing at it. This is how it works. Fight, no coward. No one can challenge me. No one can challenge me. You don't deserve to live. Now mm. you're going to get it. I'll see you get it. Okay, you said the irony of paid mods is that the paid mods are killing regular mods, not by stealing mod makers to make them paid content, but by breaking functional mods. That aren't updated anymore. Yes. <laughs> this is true. But also, it's going to have a knock-on effect where it breaks people's um, desire to uh, make free mods. Not everybody's. But there is such a thing as uh, intrinsic rewards versus extrinsic rewards. The idea that... Uh, you are pay if you are paid money for something and then you are told uh, hey you can do this again but not get paid for it a lot of people lose that intrinsic motivation the the desire to make that thing for free after they know they could be paid for it which makes perfect sense I'm not saying people shouldn't be paid for their work if they are making work that is worth paying for. Unfortunately, we're in a position where instead of buying a $70 game, you know, uh, or sorry, a $60, $70 game, they want us to buy a $60, $70 game and then on top of that, um, you know, a, a $5 this, a $10 that, a $15 that, a $20 that, a $5 this, a $5 that. And when you add it all up, it's going to be worth more than the actual uh, game itself. And you scratch your head at that and go, this is stupid. I gotta kill those Daedric minions. There's the golden saint. You chose oh, she's a different color. Crazy. You can't escape me. That is nuts. That was Stada. She had Shale Gras Signet Ring, which fortifies your personality and drains your willpower. It's great. Daedric Long Sword and some other shenanigans. Yes. Um, many mod makers have moved on from Skyrim. It's true. And that's why a lot of uh, mod makers are making mods now for both the uh, the current version and the, the pre-anniversary edition version. 
So many mod makers are at present kind of uh, backpedaling on that. Kind of going, nope, we're going to get rid of the... Uh, sorry, we're, we're going to make versions for two because we do not trust... Um, come on. Um, double check this. Uh, yes. Bracer, no problem. Almost done. The Grey Cal of Nocturnal for the Anniversary Edition looks terrible. Yes. And that's because they had to limit the number of uh, polygons for it. Okay. Day draw. I choose you. Yeah. So we got Shalegrass Signet Ring. Oh god, there's... Hungers. That's nuts. Wasn't expecting there to be like a whole army of Daedra. I'll take it though. Daedra's skin is fortified strength. Hell yeah. Daedra's skin. Yeah. Awesome. These are all good loots. Now. We are going to save the game. As uh... Shayo fail. We're going this way. We're trapped. Oh, God, it's a devourer. That thing will melt your weapons. It's a Daedric mud crab. That's how Daedric things looked in Daggerfall. With the red spikes, not the black spikes. This is going to be fun. Yes. Okay. We're getting out of here. What's hunting us? Okay. That was weird. I don't care. We're getting out of here. We're leaving. We're going to get this quest turned in. Running across the land. What's hunting us? We're being hunted by a drag. Here it comes. One of us will die here, and it won't yep. be me. It was so weird the way they made dregs only water based in Morrowind because, like, they they're even in their lore they marched out of the ocean and you know, like, confronted Vivek. <laughs> uh, all right. <clears throat> Downwards and sideways. Yes. Uh, again, that's why mod makers have basic, like most mod makers have moved over to uh, releasing two versions of their mod. One for the uh, anniversary, sorry, the pre-anniversary patch. And then others for the quote-unquote current patch. And kind of just lets you choose which one. That is a Shrine of Malakath. Hmm. I contemplated going, like... You know what? I guess we could pick up the Malakath Shrine. Go and do that in a second after we heal ourselves. Resting for two hours will not heal our wounds sufficiently, so we have to use magic to heal our wounds, and then we can rest for two hours and get the rest of it up. Yes. This is good. Yeah, I don't think we'll do the Malakath quest instantly, but uh, we'll pick it up just in case. The House of Troubles. What a shame. But I would like to fight those orcs. No, no. Uh, we'll, we'll come back later, and the reason is because I don't have uh, the inventory space to take all that orc loot. It just wouldn't work. The rabid rat, the meat doesn't weigh anything, so it doesn't matter. Like, orcish plate mail does. It's very heavy. Oh, oh. Man, da I just remember in Daggerfall, uh, orcish was better than uh, ebony. Worse than Daedric, but better than Ebony. And uh, here it is, demoted in Morrowind. Okay. 
gotta say, light armor and heavy armor, uh, those stats aren't, like, those statuses don't really apply to real life armor at all. But what, what about a Brigadine? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, um, what do I, I call it? I'm, I'm blanking on the name. Uh, padded cloth, a gambeson, yes. Very good. What is your current level? Level? 62? That's barely any. We are weak. Okay, let's keep going. Onwards and sideways. We got things to do, places to go. We've stopped leveling from, uh... Casual hack and slash. We've, uh, got our armor and, uh, and armor and weapons maxed out already. And yes, Fargoth is about a little more than twice as strong as I am at present. He has ascended. He has gone far. This cave is a grotto. Looks pretty fancy. I wish I could go inside, but I don't have uh, the carry capacity, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cast Divine Intervention, which I normally don't cast Divine Stuff, but it'll get me there. Mm. Hold on. There it is. I can use this scroll. Very good. We did it. We're in Firewatch on the mainland. This is wrong. Well, I understand what I did wrong. My sickness. Oh, look at that. Look at that Khajiit with the glow and everything. That's awesome. Yeah. That's disgusting. I think you should leave before I lose my lunch. Damn! That Khajiit, though. How terrifying. Okay, we can, uh... We can kind of mess with this. We're gonna go to the Guild of Mages. We're gonna go downstairs. Hello? Oh, that's some infection you have there. Damn right, that's some infection. Travel me to Ebenhart. Thank you. The icebreaker keep. Don't remember that. Let's go. Let's go to the helm. Get away before you infect me. No, 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 no. Looks <laughs> like Khajiit. That's disgusting. Yeah, exactly. This is Helm, and I don't see what I'm looking for. Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet you. She just loves me. Oh, you need to advance yourself in the guild. I don't care about that. I'm trying to get home. The next leap will be the leap home, you know. Oh. Please, I don't wish to catch whatever you have. Uh, travel me to Sagrith Mora. Let's do it. Hell yeah. We're back. We can head down to Azura's shrine. Daedric Mud Crab! The, the Talvani guard's fighting it. Run while you can. Damn. That's crazy. Devour. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yes. Okay. So, we have to get down to Tell Fear. We're going to save the game. We're going to try to get ourselves uh, blessed up. What the hell is this place? This looks weird. This reminds me of the Battle Spire. It's not, but it's funny. 
What is this? This tower. Oh, God, no. Well, that was almost uh, very painful. Can you imagine? Falling down there and going crunch. This is a lighthouse. Glorious. Athletics increased. Yes. We leave. I'm gonna jump on the that. Whoop. I went straight through it. My bad. No idea why. Knee breaking. He won't get off with a warning. Yeah, he won't get off with a warning, alright. You know, since it's so dark, I should probably go take a nap. It's 4 a.m. We'll see. Kenshi is a video game, which is like an open world sandbox. But it's very jank. Very, very jank. Oh, oh, right. There's another devourer over there. Hmm. You need a bed to rest, it said. I'm out of stamina. Swimming while out of fatigue. Your health is dropping because you're, you're drowning. I did it. I nearly drowned. Let's rest for two hours. <clears throat> Your corpus has worsened. Yes, yes it has. More strength. Less intelligence. Well, what we're going to do... Um, Eels, we're going to go ahead and use Restore Intelligence. That should be fine. Willpower... And speed. Uh, wait. Personality. I want to see if personality... Yeah, personality goes up and then speed. Alright, we did it. We uh, counteracted the uh, corpus. Um, let's try strength one more time, just in case. No, it's not getting any better than that. What a shame. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, zoom over to Tel Fear. It's to the southwest. West by southwest. We'll clunk a mud crab or two. This is fine. I will probably end up streaming Kenshi at some point. Just uh, not anytime soon, what with the sheer amount of things I want to do. Okay. So again, this is going to be fun. what we're going to do right now um, is Chrono Trigger my favorite game. Yes. Xeno Gears would be my favorite game, but um, what do you call it? A disc 2 sucks. All right. <clears throat> My favorite first-person shooter is Unreal Tournament 2004. But I also really love Quake and Doom and Half-Life. I'm going to do a video on Half-Life somewhat soon. Um, but uh, it's nothing major. Just want to yap about it for a while. Okay, we're gonna go this way. <clears throat> Muck sponge. So this is Tell Fear. This is this lady, this boat uh, person, was not in the vanilla game. She. Uh, very much um, was uh, she was in the data files and ah, was never greetings. What shall we talk about? And was never properly ad added into the game. 
but uh, you can train. She's a master trainer, so sneak, speech, craft, medium armor. I needed her for medium armor training. <clears throat> yes. World is falling apart, you say? What part of the world? I mean, Tamriel, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. But no. Um, what do you call it? My favorite MMO at the moment is Final Fantasy XIV. Um, a favorite... Um, Jeez, I was going to say. Um, my favorite CRPG, that is to say, like, classic role-playing game, is um, uh, Neverwinter Nights, specifically Shadows of Under and Tide and Hordes of the Underdark. There are a ton of modules, but those are my favorite modules. Um, what do you call it? Um... My favorite party game is Mario Kart. Yes. Super Mario Kart uh, 8. I, uh, My wife and I have played Mario Kart together since we were children. Uh, like, uh, when we were kids, we lived like a block away from each other. So. Um, favorite dungeon crawler? Probably Shadow of Serbius, to be honest. There's just something magical about that game that I can't quite Go pin away, down. Diseased creature. I'm the diseased creature. How you doing? Are you here to plunder the dungeon? Have you got corpus disease? Did you want to talk to Devaith Fear? Everyone who gets corpus disease comes to our corpusarium. It's not very pleasant, but at least they're all fed and cared for. Right, right. And Devaith Fear? He's up above in his study. I hope you can fly. You can't get up there unless you can fly or have potions. Sorry. Right. You said plunder Are the you dungeon? Plunder the du You'd be surprised how many people come in here trying to steal Lord Fear's treasures. He does have quite a collection of relics and artifacts, but he keeps them down in the Corpusarium. And who wants to risk catching Corpus disease? Not to mention who wants to get ripped in half. Pity, we don't see many good thieves here. Just the stupid ones. Just the stupid ones, yes. <clears throat> I've been streaming for about five and a half hours. I'm going to... There's a couple things I'm going to be doing. So, first I'm going to try to get corp my corpus cured. And if my uh, strength goes down, because my strength is 116, right? If it goes down when corpus gets cured, I will keep the cure. Otherwise, I will reload the game. Uh, and Go then away, we'll... away, diseased creature. Yeah, then we'll do other stuff, so. Uh, hello. Okay, you're a bit sickly. I know I am. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that, that's the way up, okay. Cool, so... It's... Uh, tell fear go... We're gonna head on up. We're gonna levitation on up there. That should do it. Fargoth, I must have you wait here. Due to reasons. Stand guard. Oh, that's some infection you have there. Go away, diseased yes. creature. I get it. I am diseased. Where is Devaith Far? There he is! Go away, diseased creature. Say, that's an interesting Dwemer piece you have there. What can you tell me about it? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yep, offered as a gift. A gift? For me? How thoughtful and shrewd. I suppose you know I'm a collector, and that such a gift is bound to please me. I congratulate you on your diplomatic skills. So, why have you tried to butter me up? Come to consult the great Devaith Fear. You have the divine disease, want to plunder the dungeon, or leer at my daughters. The, your daughters? Really? I had no idea. By the way, his daughters are uh, also his wives. They are genetically they're 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 clones of him that are gender swapped. It's uh, masturbation, you see. It don't ask me how that works. It's kind of terrible. 
Ahem. Anyway, let me see here. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um. Divine disease. The magical principles of corpus disease are elusive and miraculous, far more subtle and powerful than any conventional sorcery or enchantment. I'm persuaded that it is in some manner the curse or blessing of a god, perhaps both a curse and a blessing. The victim, of course, cannot appreciate the marvelous nature of corpus. It saps the mind and destroys the body. But to a wizard, it is a profound and glorious mystery, a riddle worth a long lifetime of study. Right. Well, the disease itself? How interesting. Did you know that corpus makes you immune to disease? Have you ever heard of the prophecies of the Nereverine? Ashlanders say the Nereverine will be immune to disease. I've always thought, maybe I have the Nereverine down in my corpusarium and I don't even know it. Ha. Ha. The Nereverine is a fat, disgusting corpus monster and mad as a marsh rat. Wouldn't that be funny? It would be funny. Uh, ahem. I uh, may fulfill the prophecies. That's a fascinating story you tell. So, you might be the Nereverine. Means nothing, of course. Corpus victims have all sorts of delusions. But, let me think. I've got a potion. In theory, it should cure Corpus. Doesn't work, though. Probably kill you. Killed all my test subjects. But you've got nothing to lose. Before I give it to you, I want you to look around below in the Corpusarium. Know what's in store if you don't take the potion. And while you're there, I want you to pick up a pair of boots from a victim. Calls himself Yagram Bagarn, my oldest patient. Handy fellow, fixes things for me. Bring the boots back, and then you can have the potion. Got it. So you managed to set her free. Why tell me about it? Ah, uh, I, I freed the lady, yeah. Doesn't matter. A corpusarium? I collect victims of the divine disease in my corpusarium in the caverns beneath my tower. Poor devils. Wretched existence. Constant pain. Ferocious appetites and passions. No reason at all. Mad as marsh rats. But marvelous, too, in their way. Completely immune to disease. Live forever, barring accidents. Ancient wizards need projects to keep them occupied. And the corpusarium is mine. Yep. <clears throat> Okie dokie. We're gonna drop down here. Oh, Go that's some infection creature. you have there. I am diseased creature. Okay. Gonna go down, down, down. This is the cell where the lady was being held. This area is pointless. Go away, diseased creature. This is the cor corpus land. Yeah, we're going to Corpus Land. How you doing? Disgusting. I am Vistakai, Warden of the Corprusarium. I am here to warn you, do not harm the inmates. If you come to plunder the dungeon, you must endure their attacks and take your chances with me, their warden and protector. I see. Endure their attacks? Do not harm the inmates. I will not tolerate you adding to their suffering. Indeed, they are brutal and ferocious, and they will kill you if they can. But you are their guest, and you may not harm them, or you will answer to me. Warden, though? I am the guardian and peacekeeper of the Corpusarium. I have spent long years in service to Lord Fear, first as a slave, then as a free hireling, and now as a friend and partner. He has been kind and generous to me, and I take his interests and the interests of those he shelters to heart. The treasures of his dungeon are open to sport, according to Lord Fear's whim, and you're welcome to try to steal them. But I, too, find great sport in hunting thieves. Nice, see. <clears throat> so I cannot uh, plunder the dungeon? For his own amusement, Devithe Fear permits thieves to test their skills by attempting to steal the treasures he keeps below in the Corpusarium. The dangers are fearful. The inmates are savage, and they carry the most terrible disease on Tamriel. 
The treasures themselves are guarded by traps and terrors, and the guards, myself chief among them, will take great delight in trying to kill you. Those are the rules. Abide by them or leave. I see, I see. What do you th know about the Corpusarium? Lord Fear shelters and maintains the victims of Corpus disease here in the Corpusarium. He does them a great service because no other could or would help them. He also does the world a great service by keeping them here where they can do no harm to others. The inmates are sad, distorted monsters, angry and cruel, and their sufferings are great, but they still live and feel, and I honor Lord Fear's care and compassion for them. Okay. Let's go! Ooh, the depths. Hello, Mr. Corpus Man. I'll be taking that money, thanks. That is a trap level 100 chest. I cannot loot it as I am. Hmm. <clears throat> now those corpus stalkers really want to catch me. I think we found our person. Uh, hello. You're new here, aren't you? My name is Oopsie. Oopsafir. I take care of the corpus victims in the corpus area. Oops, a fear. Uh. The Corpusarium is just one of Divite Fear's many projects. Our mission here is partly humanitarian, partly research. He has been searching for a cure to Corpus disease for a long time. A very long time. But in the meantime, we care for the Corpus victims as best we can. The world outside is very cruel to Corpus sufferers. They are much better off here with us. Be careful if you're going to prowl around down here. We will be very angry if you hurt any of our patients. And our patients can be quite a handful, I'll tell you. Strong as Ogrim and twice as mean. But they seem to like it when I play the drum. Quiets them down. There's a drum around here someplace. They wander off with it sometimes. But find that drum and bring it to me. And I think I can calm them down for a while. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, what about the disease? The disease takes many forms. For some, the progress is rapid and terrible. For others, the effects on the mind and body are very slow. It's a remarkable affliction, in that once having contracted corpus, one is completely unaffected by any other diseases. We've always hoped that our research would permit us to isolate the beneficial aspects of corpus, but alas, we've not been successful. I don't think I'll find the drum in time, but that's, that's nice. Devaith here? As you know, he's probably the oldest and most powerful wizard alive. Not counting liches or divine sorcerers like Vivek, of course. And there may be some older in the West, on Somerset Isles, perhaps. And I don't think there's a kinder, more generous wizard alive. Not that there's much competition in the kind and generous wizard department, I'll grant you. True. Anything else about the victims? I can calm the corpus victims with soothing drum rhythms if you'll bring me their garskin drum. Yes. Look around. There's a garskin drum somewhere. If you'll find it and bring it to me, I'll soothe the corpus victims with a little music. Got it. Well, let's talk to you. He doesn't have a voice actor. <clears throat> You're here for the Dwemer boots? Tell my gracious keeper that I have done what I could. Only a Dwemer mage crafter could have uh, done so much. But only idiots could have created these boots. They shame my race. I see. Y your race? I was uh, once a master crafter in the service of Lord Kagranak, uh, chief architect and great, uh, uh, sorry, of the great Second Empire Freeholds, and the greatest enchanter of my time. Uh, I could not match the genius of Lord Kagranak, what he could envision, however. Uh, and my, uh, yeah, I and my colleagues could build, let's see, all... Of that is gone forever. I still retain my cunning, but my hands and eyes fail me, and my memories have long since faded. My only consolation is that uh, each day to mock the gods who destroyed my race and condemned me to this bleak existence. Your race. <clears throat> oh, yes. Uh, bleak existence. 
since the disappearance of the dwarves, I have been alone in this world, trapped in a grim prison. I can scarcely move. Uh, my fellow inmates are scarcely good company. The risk of corpus disease deters most visitors. But uh, if you meet with cultivated minds, undaunted by the terrors of the corpusarium, you might mention your recent interview with the last living dwarf. That's how I style myself. Um, I do not know for a fact that I'm the last, but in my travels um, thousands of years ago, I never encountered another. And since I've been here, I often ask Lord Fear, but he says he's never heard a credible rumor of another Dwemer on Tamriel or in any outer realm. Ooh. Experience of the dwarves. I cannot say what happened. I was not there to observe. I was in an outer realm at the time. When I came back, my people were gone. I left Red Mountain, wandering Tamriel for years, searching our deserted colonies for an explanation. Then, um, a, a long, long time ago, I returned to Red Mountain, still looking for answers. Instead, I found the corpus disease. And uh, I've been here ever since. I have my theories if you're interested. Lord Kagranak, the first and foremost arcane philosopher and mage crafter of my era, devised tools to shape the mythopic forces, uh, intending to transcend the limits of Dwemer mortality. However, in interviewing, uh, sorry, in reviewing his formulae, some uh, Lofticians argued that side effects were unpredictable; errors might be catastrophic. I think that Kagranak might have succeeded in granting our race eternal life. Uh, with unforeseen consequences, <laughs> uh, such as the whole displacement to an outer realm. Uh, or he may have erred and utterly destroyed our race. So in other words, either the Dwemer ended up in the realm of oblivion, or they're all dead, according to him anyway. Your gracious keeper, uh, I owe my life to Devaith Fear. He took me in when I was a mad monster out of my mind. In time, I emerged from my dementia, and I'm quite lucid. If anyone can cure this disease, he can. Right, dorm boots. Ahem. Uh, I obtained these enchanted boots from an unfortunate thief, and given the quality of their craftsmanship, little wonder the fellow came to a bad end. I can do nothing for him. The fundamental enchantment is flawed. Might as well start over again. I see. Well, take them to Devaith Fear with my sincerest apologies. I see. I gave the boots, didn't I? Yes. So. If they, there are, by chance, this, this guy is... Uh, yeah, they all want to hunt me. Fine, though. I was looking for the Guar Skin Drum. I don't see it, though. Hmm. Let me have a look, see. Serve Lord Dagoth. That area is busted. Hello. I must endure their attacks on me. That's what the rules say. I am not allowed to attack back. That would anger the uh, the hunters of this place. Yeah, that treasure chest looks pretty fancy. Have you come to plunder the dungeon? Oh yes, I'm definitely here to plunder. Um, pillaging is fun. Oh, there's stuff up there. Wonder what's up there. Let's uh, go have a look. Give me levitation. I think. There it is. <clears throat> cool. I can't wait to not find my way through. This area is pretty nice, though. Nice and high up. Wonder where it connects to. This is a dead end. You, oh, never mind. It's not a dead end. You, I can go back around. Oh, interesting. So if we like, go to the corner here, we can fit through. 
That makes sense. So the real question is, can we get through here if we like get to the right spot? I think the answer is a firm no. <clears throat> Those sticks are too much for me. Imagine breaking them and being successful at leaving. This is the corpus area. I don't see any uh, drums though. Hello. Yes, you 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 may uh, you may tackle me. I'm stealing the mushrooms. That is another trap chest. Yeah, they they, they weren't joking about saying plunder the dungeon. That's uh, pretty fancy. I can't wait to die. Uh, yeah, about that. I'm over encumbered. I can't even do that. I, I, yeah, I can't even TCL past him. I am stuck, stuck. Uh, that's it for me, everybody. We had we had a lot of fun there, but I dropped below my strength threshold, and so I'm gonna die. <clears throat> what a shame! What a shame! There's there's no escape. I can try to restore strength, uh, health. Uh, let me see. That'd be, uh, no, I, don't, I don't need to use this one. I need to use, like, these. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And then, um, afterward, I need to use, um, yes, restore strength. Whoop. So much for that. Okay. Fair enough. Give me a sec. We're re resetting. Ha, ha, ha. It was cool. It was cool. We almost, uh, we almost won, and then we didn't. What a shame. Okay. Give me a second to re complete and total reset. Where are we? Corpus land, right before we went in. Okay. I'm going to power through this. I'm not going to bother with the guar skin drum. Because I want to know if the corpus gets cured or not. And this is kind of a big deal. So, drink the damn potion. Okay. So, first things first. Uh, what's my, what are my stats? 16, okay. Doesn't matter. We're going through the corpus area and we're going to go through I his dialogues real quick. Kai. I, for his own... Lord Fear Shelter, do not harm the in. I am the guardian, and for his own amusement, yes. Divite Fear permits thieves to test their skills by attempting to steal the treasures he mm -hmm. keeps below in the Corpusarium. The Bye. dangers are fearful. The inmates are savage, and they The dangers are fearful, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Abide by them or leave. Uh paralysis done by spiders. I don't know. Uh I know there's paralysis and then there there's mat like para like paralysis resistance in Daggerfall is uh like for magical paralysis, and then there's uh spiders and scorpions which do a kind of like poison. Resistance, uh, a poison paralysis. So it's, you gotta have to kind of have immunity to both, which is weird. Anyway, let me uh, see here. Yeah, and Daggerfall. That's how it works. Okay, I need uh, food cooked. I have nothing. I have no cooked food, so we're just going. Okay. I'm getting through here already. I'm just going to skip through all the dialogues since I got through them last time and then died. I thought that was dumb. So. You're new here, aren't you? My the corpus Be careful if you're going to prowl around down here. As you know, he's probably the oldest mm -hmm. and most... The disease. I can calm the corpus victims with soothing drum rhythms if you'll bring me their garskin drum. Yes, of course. Must be somewhere here in the corpusarium. I see. Tamriel like lore. The following are notes I have gathered over the past centuries of items of unimaginable significance. All have been seen, owned, and lost again and again throughout Tamriel. Some may be myth, others may be hoax, 
but regardless, many have lost their lives attempting to find or protect these very coveted items. Lord's Mail, sometimes called the Armor of Mori House or the Gift of Kinnereth, this is an ancient cuirass of unsurpassable quality. It grants the wearer power to absorb health, resist the effects of spells, and cure oneself of poison. It is said that whenever Kinnereth deigns the wearer unworthy, the Lord's Mail will be taken away and hidden for the next chosen one. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm uh, let me let me reload real quick. Uh, my bad. I was I was doing something wrong. Ah, 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 this is fixed. Okay. Very, very, very silly. <laughs> yeah, I was going... And then he does a little jiggle, too, which is extra funny. There's a video out there called Heart that uh, has uh, Devaith Fear and... Uh... I am this eye for his own amusement. Yes. Do not harm the... I am the guardian and peacekeeper of Lord right. Fear shelters and maintains. Do not harm the inmates. I will okay. not tolerate you adding to their suffering. I will not. It's my bad. I like. I just need to finish. The th I've, I've, I've failed twice to do this because I was stupid. And I'm going to continue to be stupid. So, uh, first things first. You're new here, aren't you? Yes. Be careful. The corpus. I can calm. Yes. As you know, he's probably the oldest and most powerful wizard alive. We're just Not finishing this up. Or divine sorcerers like Vivek, of course. And there yep. may be some older in the West on Somerset Isles. There we go. And I don't think there's a kind of I think we did it. wizard alive. Not that there's much competition. We're leaving. We're getting out of here. Wait. No. No. The, the, this. Yeah. This way, and then to the right. Um, the Guar skin drum is somewhere around, but we're not getting that quest done right now. We're we're powering through this. They really don't want to do this again. Disgusting. Why do you Disgusting We're going up now. Continuing up. Up and away. Go away, diseased oh, creature. That's some infection you have there. Yes, it is. It absolutely is some infection. Okay, everyone, the time is now. We're gonna go check this out. So, do you think we'll get to keep the bonus? 116 strength. I mean to see. Okay, here we go. Well, did you get my boots? No boots, no potion. The boots first, please. And now I'll give you the potion on the following condition. You must drink it here before my eyes. It should act immediately, and I need to observe you very carefully. Agreed? Mm-hmm. All right. Good. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Good. Now swallow. Goodness. Good grief. Look, look, it's working. Remarkable. Let me check your skin, your eyes, your tongue. Amazing. I think it worked. No sign of the disease at all. Of course, you still have corpus disease, just like I planned. But all your symptoms are gone. Marvelous. I'll go try it out on some of the more desperate inmates. But I'll answer any questions you have before you go. Cool. Let's just check to see if it's, uh... No. We yes, lost yes, the buff. completely cured. Did you forget something? Yep, we lost the buff. 15 instead of 16. I wonder. Huh. Let me see what kind of strength I've got. Uh, bu 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 Resist fire, corpus immunity. Yeah. I don't see it. No, no, I kept the buff because I don't have any, uh,. Unless I'm missing something. F first wind speed, mercantile. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at this and I got to keep mo I got to keep all but one of the points for some reason. It, uh, yeah, it's right there. So, uh, about that. Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry. But, uh. 
we're gonna go... Hold on. I'm gonna restart one more time. And uh, this time I'm gonna go and just kind of uh, give him the boots and say I'm not ready yet. And, uh, you know, that, that, that'll do it, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell him I'm not ready. And then we'll go mess around with stuff. Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll use the potion when I like is, uh, not gonna work. Okay. Ho, ho, ho. Go away. Oh, that's some infection you have there. We do, we do have some infection. We're going up. Okay, yeah. So it looks like we do get the bonus then. Uh, which is crazy. We'll see if that's true after a, uh, a trip. Well, did you get my boots? Same Note deal. The boots first, please. And now I'll give you the okay. potion on the following condition. You must drink it here before my eyes. It should act immediately, and I need to observe you very carefully. Agreed. I'm not ready. What? Lost your nerve? Think there might be someone else who can cure your corpus? Very well. Go away and come back when you're ready to take the potion. Got it. That's it. That's all we need to do. Now, now we're good. Anytime we want, we can come on back over. And yep, yep. There we go. He said, come back when I'm ready to take the potion. That's it. We are ready to go. A uh, far goth. Let's go adventuring. Follow me. Yep, we're done, done. We don't need to worry about this. We will uh, get to keep all but our last level up, apparently. Or sorry, our last corpus progression. Go away. So as long as long as we put up with the divine disease for a while, we will get stronger and stronger. I think this is fun. Um, let's go to the what do you call it? Uh, based on all of this, I'm wondering what quests we should pick up. Or, or what we should quest we should do because we've got a fa oh yeah we should turn in Azora's star. How about that? We're heading south. Yep, we're, go we're going south. So, the fundamental enchantment is flawed on those boots that will randomly drop you and kill you. Under the dungeon, use levitation. Levitation kills you because it failed. We're going to turn into Zura's quest. And then we're going to... What do you call it? Uh, continue to progress the disease by going and doing other things. <clears throat> Your uh, surprised games haven't let you play as a healer. Yeah, it's kind of funny because... Um, Final Fantasy XIV has, like, healing quests for all three... Uh, sorry, for all four of the healing classes. They basically go, Hey, uh, you use your healing abilities on these NPCs who are, uh, you know, currently... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, currently injured or whatever. I mean, it, that, I've seen that. Like, there, there are several uh, class quests in fourteen that let you do that. But then again, there's a storyline for every class, in addition to the storyline, you know, for the main game. All right, we're heading south. I'm being chased by something. What's chasing me? The drag. How the hell did it see me from that far away? Oh, this is too easy. Crazy. How you doing, Mr. Run Bandit? Run while you can. He said it himself. Wow. That's some paralysis right there. We got him. Oh, yeah. Shard arrows. Calangity wing uh, ring. Yes. I think we're good. Let's grab those and move on. I don't even need to drop the leather armor. It's just bad. 
When the Bosmer attacks. Okay. Oh, oh. Yep. Skyrim has one guy you can heal with magic. Huh. Yep. Look at that. That is a world seam. So the way that works is uh, there is a mod that is incompatible with another mod. Specifically, Tamriel rebuilt over there and Myron's rebirth over here. That's what's going on. So when people say, I didn't think that Tamriel rebuilt and Morrowind Rebirth were compatible with each other. That when they say incompatibilities, this is the stuff they're talking about. Like this very, very small strip there. All right. They are now on the most going to get it. technical level incompatible. Bug. Okay. Rats and the lits. This is going to be fun. crazy. We got um good work, Fargoth. I'm gonna go this way. <clears throat> yes. Come back when the entire island's underwater. Yes. We've, uh... Skyrim does that pretty well, too. Like, the, the entire province is just underwater. Okay. Uh, oh, no. One of us will die here. It won't be me. Yes. One of the one of us, the next hounder, Fargoth. And it won't be Fargoth. Okay, I'm gonna kill ya. True. Oh no. Now you're going to Oh no. I I can't move. I'm being affected by all kinds of terrible curses. This this hunger has all these crazy effects. I'm paralyzed. Wow. Run now. We got him. The hunger is defeated. I am still cursed with all kinds of, uh, yeah, strength ne negation. This game just wants you to be over encumbered and dead all the time. So restore strength, please. Thanks. I did it. I can move again. I must go to Azora's shrine where she can help us. I believe. I need to deal with hunger, though. Hunger is actually a big deal right now. Oh, no. Now you're going to get it. Why? Why? Bat just says, uh,. No. Um. <clears throat> Why? <laughs> what did the bat hit me with? Oh, serious thirst. I'm, I'm, I'm thirsty. I'm in the water and I'm thirsty. Go figure. Yep. Okay. One of them, there are water bats. It was a bat from above. Do not trust the bats. Okay, we need to cook some stuff real quick. Fuck! I packed up the, uh... I put down the camping kit, turned around, and picked it back up. Alright, uh... Crab. We can't stop here, it's bat country. Yes, that's a good meme. Crab. Crab. I have a couple hundred crabs, but, uh... 
what I need to do. We'll leave around noon. Grab. We're almost there. One more. And then we'll have cooked the crab. It's noon. We're packing up. I am over encumbered due to too much crab. It was too delicious. I am now unable to function properly. Um, <clears throat> right. We're just going to go ahead and drop some uh, terrible weapons. Going to say bold mold boots. Hooray, we did it. Let's eat some crab now. Lest we uh, die from hunger. One and two. I don't want to eat a blight spore. I want to eat uh, two cooked crabs. There we go. Now we're good. I can actually pick up those boots again. Now that I'm no longer suffering from hunger. I was not at my full power, you see. I need to eat to gain strength. Okay. Do, 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 do. Healer doing charity. The only thing that's somewhat decent for that, alms for the poor, um, that's like the Imperial Cult. And even then, you're not really leveraging your adventurer class to, you know, help people. You are very much just kind of doing generic work for the Imperial embrace Cult. She says, I must embrace. I've summoned a Dremor and a Golden Saint. You should run now. I'm now over encumbered due to her magics. She really wishes to stab me. She's dead. I can move again. Her curses were removed. Glass claymore, though. Yeah, I'm looking at this stuff going. Ah, ah, I need the topaz, the coins, the money, the magic item, and then for like generic stuff. Uh, yeah, this Dwemer hammer is actually awful in terms of its weight to benefit ratio. When we have like a 5,000 uh, Claymore instead. There's no uh, denying it's just so much better. Okay, let's continue. Hello, hello. <clears throat> We're going to Azura's Shrine. Very important. No one can challenge me. The crab, that's not a crab, it's a shock, it's a shock beetle. You can see in the distance that, that curvy statue of a woman. That is, uh, very good, very good. All right. Moving along. Do, 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 do. So. Ahem. We are almost done for the day. We are, we are wrapping up, actually. Uh, here we go. There's Azura, Moon, and Star. We're going inside. We're going to turn in the quest. We've got the ring. Everything uh, yeah, is perfect. Do, do, do. Would you rate daggers positively if a character focuses on them? Yes. Um, you can use daggers, light armor, and uh, like, uh, what do you call it? Ranged weaponry on the same character. And it's very effective if you do, because then you can focus on agility speed. And uh, the whole idea of daggers is that they stagger enemies. Like, you you just focus on getting as many stabs in as possible and keeping the enemy staggered, stunlocked to death. And Zora, hello! Well done, mortal. You have preserved the integrity of my wager with Shale Gods. Now it will end as fated. And not due to the meddling of the day dragons. Take this and use it wisely. Right. Anything else? No. You guys have anything else to say? So we go over here and we have Star. Azura's Star. It's a soul gem that can hold more than any other soul gem. We're going to capture a Dragonian soul with this. It's going to be very stupid. But uh, that, that's about it. We're going to... we're gonna. It's a reusable 
one. So we'll be able to stuff uh, Amalexia's soul into it and use it to enchant a pair of panties or something. I don't know. Um, it'll, it'll be fun. Next up, we are going up... Back toward Tel... I guess we don't need to go to Tel Fear. I'm contemplating where I want to go. Um, but yeah, in this game, you can stagger an enemy. Like, there's a chance of staggering on hit. By repeatedly stabbing an enemy, if you have enough stamina, uh, you should be able to... Uh, uh, like, just continually stagger them until they are no longer a threat. Yes. All right. Ahem. No, I, I don't do the main quest on the sassy playthrough. I did it on the Argonian uh, Archer build before it. Uh, if you want to look at uh, Whispers in Shadow, I did the main quest on that one. The sassy build was to do... Uh, that was for uh, the, the West, the quest line. A d different, uh, different quest line. It was a giant one too. No one can tell us. Yeah, the the, re the the reason for the sassy playthrough was to do the uh, whispers of the east. I think that's what it was. Whispers of the east, which is big enough to be its own thing. God damn it! You're kidding me. That's a devourer. Those things are terrifying. Yeah. Okay, I think I can actually like stay back for a second. You're kidding me. Come on, guys. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to hide behind there because the devourer's about to kill me, so I'm hoping my minions can uh, handle it. Yeah, de that devourer is terrifying. It's, I'm, I'm, my, my stats are damaged. No, they aren't damaged. It's just I, I don't know what's going on then. Crazy. Oh, well, I've got uh, 19 points of hunger I can deal with by eating damn... What do you call it? One of these uh, cooked crabs. Yes. Devourer is scary. Danger Heart there. This orc champion had a glass jink blade. I'll take that. I think everything else he has is kind of terrible. So I'll take his money. I'll take his coins and his potions. But everything else we're going to leave on his corpse to go away. Um, Daggerfall is absolutely scaled. But quest NPCs um, are... Uh, not scaled so uh the, like the dungeons and stuff you'll run into monsters that are of equivalent level noting that as far as loot goes loot is also scaled but then it's uh it gets bonuses from luck so it's possible to like on a high luck build to find a uh uh what do you call it a daedric um like a daedric katana in the opening dungeon if uh your luck rolls properly it's very silly. We're going to use uh, Alm CV Intervention. We'll see where we get put. Mysticism to 60. We're in Molagmar. Hell yeah. Glorious. Uh -huh. Morrowind is level scaled. There are three tiers of monsters. So uh, humans do uh, slash elves do not level scale in Morrowind. However, animals... Animals do, and there are three tiers of animals. There's normal, diseased, and blighted. And the diseased are mid-level, the blighted are high-level. Uh, in, uh, what do you call it, Worm God, who is a Marwin developer, he made a mod called Marwin Advanced, which adds a fourth level, which can be rabid, mastiff, or, you know, elder, um, as, like, higher ranks. It also adds, like, bonus monsters that only start spawning at high levels, which are not tiered. But, uh... When it comes to, like, bandits and stuff, they aren't scaled. Like, all, all the all the humanoids are, um... Very much, um... They're, they're, they're gonna be the same level, um... Throughout the entire game. Yeah. Hello there. No, I want to talk to you. Go away, diseased creature. Me, a diseased creature? You brought the temple's justice to Delva Mandaris. 
I did. You have slain Raxley Burn. Gallum Deus is no longer a plague waiting to strike out upon the land. Mm -hmm. You have cured Letta. Well done. This is the stronghold of Molagmar. It is a garrison maintained by the Tribunal Temple and House Redoran. Many come here to rest before making the dangerous pilgrimages to Mount Kand and Mount right. Asarnabibi. Hmm. Asarnabibi is a serious place. Right, Necromancy? Yeah, ignorant foreigners confuse our communication and reliance upon our ancestor spirits with necromancy. But ancestor veneration is holy and pious, while necromancy is godless and perverse sorcery. Good to know. Well, I don't need to be here technically. Like, I'm, I'm doing... Uh, I, I suppose we could look in the basement here. We could sell some things. We can do a lot of stuff, but... For now, I'm going to log off here. So thank you all for watching. I'm uh, going to be I'm gonna be online doing some other things, but um, I would expect to see me. Um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, late tonight. What with Daggerfall? Probably. Probably. Don't know. We'll see. Um, my plan is to do Daggerfall uh, late tonight, followed by um, Baldur's Gate on Saturday. And I'm hoping to get further in Baldur's Gate, oh boy, oh boy. But for now, I'm just going to kick back and relax and, uh, you know, pass some time uh, without, without the, the streamies. But, um, yeah, yeah, we managed to get the Corpus Disease. We manage to find out that, yes, we get to keep a good chunk of our bonuses after we um, uh, after we get the uh, disease cured, which is cool. And another th interesting thing is um, uh, just that uh, we can uh, we can cure or like restore our stats that are damaged by corpus. So. We get to, if we work hard at it, we can keep the bonuses without having the negatives for quite some time. I figured I'm going to peel off, do some adventuring next time. Uh, basically spending some time getting the corpus disease to progress. Because we're getting stronger and we're also like peeling off the uh, bad parts of it. So it's, it's going to be neat to see what happens. But... Um, I'll see y'all in like, yeah, no, 12-ish hours, somewhere around there, maybe a little longer, and we'll do Daggerfall at night. It'll be fun. But for now, uh, see y'all later.